This, 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 this is the most mature audiences only shit you've ever heard. Period. From Boston. From Boston. Broadcasting all over the world. The world. Send the soy boys home. Hit the like button. I don't know. Gonna sugarcoat shit. Drop down. I'm give it to you. This. This is. This is the Joe Cronin Show. Now. Now. Here's Joe. Here's Cronin. Joe Cronin. Joe Cronin went raw. Raw. Smackdown. WWE or AEWN. Tune in to the Joe Cronin Show. Live. Live. Live on YouTube for review and reaction. Joe Cronin and Jake break down all the action. All of it. The Joe Cronin Show. Your source for wrestling opinions, news, and insanity. A wrestling podcast with attitude. Mature audiences only. Join our community of over 70,000 people. Subscribe free on YouTube to The Joe Cronin Show. All right, good afternoon, everybody. How's everybody doing? Sorry, there was no Sunday night gaming last night. I was uh, in a depression-filled meltdown of hell. No, I'm just kidding. I just didn't... I was dead, man. After all the yard work, there's so much to be done, man. I, like, I, I don't know, dude. I haven't even gotten this room taken care of yet because the heater guy was still working on the basement heat and had to run the duct work, so we're still looking for the leak and all the other things. Anyway, whatever. Wrestling. Uh, we're going to talk about a little wrestling today. We're going to talk about... Whatever you guys want to talk about. I'm going to have the phone lines open. Is new, The main thing we're talking about is uh, is New Day. New Day, the greatest ever. The greatest faction ever. That's what everybody's talking about today. So that's what we're going to talk about. Is, is New Day the greatest faction ever? We need a New Day uh, PNG here. Uh, I love the guys. I don't think they're the greatest ever. I'll tell you that right off the bat. But I do think that they are one of the... I mean, what would you, like, they are definitely one of the best all time and one of the longest running and most, I mean, solid, like, groups we've ever seen, to be honest. And who would have thought it would it would go this way, but it's been so good. Um, you know, Kofi had a pretty good singles run, I th and, you know, Big E had a little bit of a singles run. It was all right. Xavier Woods had a, had a brief one in the WWE. So... I think it would have been cool if these guys had gotten a little bit more of a, uh, you know, a little bit more of solo runs. But, I mean, who needs it when you're in one of the, a group like this, you know? I would say they're probably not going to be as big as the Shield, right? Right off the bat. So when people say the greatest of all time, I'm not even a big Shield. I don't even like the Shield that much, you know? That music has to go. Uh, I don't even, dude. I don't even know if I like the if I like the Shield that much. I'm not even a big Shield guy, but there's no doubt about it that the Shield, probably um, the last, you know, when you talk about big WWE superstars or big impacts, right? You can talk about Hulk Hogan and The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin, um, you know, and then you get into sort of the B tier like the Macho Man and the uh, you know Shawn Michaels, HBK, and Bret Hart and all those big guys, but um, you know. Mod and Triple H and stuff like that. Modern day, though, um, your biggest John Cena, obviously. But after John Cena and all those names and CM Punk, after CM Punk and John Cena, it really comes down to, like, Daniel Bryan and The Shield, right? Like, the biggest thing that WWE did or that wrestling did besides CM Punk and John Cena after those two guys is been Daniel Bryan and The Shield. So... You know, New Day it was it is really big, but like, I think they're great. But I would consider New New Day one of the probably maybe the greatest or one of the greatest fact mid card factions of all time. That's what I would call it a mid card faction, one of the best tag teams mid card factions of all time. They're they're in the top something, you know. But I don't know. I can't say they're the greatest of all time. I love the guys. I think they're whatever. But there's um, 
you know, there, there's periods where I've been over them, you know what I mean, where I'm like, all right, I'm over it right now. But then there's other times where they're just so good, you're like, oh, they're back again, man. They nailed it again. They, they did a good job there. Or other things were terrible, but then they were good. I don't think the New Day's ever been horrible, but there's actually there have been times where they were cringe, right? Like the um, the whole uh, when like the pancake stuff at some point became a little bit like ugh. It was just the way they were booked. It was so childlike and kid like um, that it was a little cringy, I guess. So yeah, there's been times where it's not been good, I guess. But that to me, if the rest of the product had been better, then then the New Day would have been better, and 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 it wouldn't have been as uh, as cringy. Anyway, what's going on, everybody? Uh, yeah, it sucked I wasn't live last night. That definitely blew. Um, I didn't get to have fun playing video games, so that sucked. Probably lost a lot of income. Uh, you know, no donations, obviously. So it was a bad thing to miss last night. So that sucked. Um, you know, that that was dumb. But, uh, you know, I didn't wasn't feeling good after all the yard work in the sun. I think I was dehydrated. Um, and then, you know, a couple people that I wanted to play Warzone with weren't on, and I, I didn't really feel like streaming Diablo again, and so I just kind of was like, I passed out and was like, alright, I guess I'm gonna go to bed for like 30 minutes and see if I can wake up and see if anybody's available, and then I'll hit up Warzone or PUBG or something, and then I was, I was in the chat on my phone, and I was letting people know, hey, I'm trying to wait to see if I can get some people to play with, and nobody wanted to play, um, or nobody was around to play, things like that, so... I ended up passing out on the couch, uh, and I had a major migraine headache, so huge migraine took over. So bad that even when I blink my left eye right now, it still kind of hurts. Um, but I refuse to take um, any medication, so uh, it's going to be crazy. Um, hey, Joe, I hope you and your family well. I'm watching from the UK. What's going on, uh, Jake? Or it's Jack, rather. What's up, Jack? Shout out to the UK, man. Yeah, usually we get more people watching around the world right now because um, it's 1.30 p.m. in the U.S., but obviously it's nighttime uh, over in the U.K. It's, uh, um, what is it, 6.30 or 7.30 in the U.K. probably? Probably like around dinner time over there. Uh, the Hardy Boys are my favorite tag team, BWO. What's up, man? New Day sucks, says Steve Kalan. What's up, Steve Kalan? Mezzy Mez, how you doing? If you guys want to re-up or, or haven't re-upped your subscription, do that down below if you want. That way you can get the, uh, you want to get to the point where you can get Leah's face. You want to get my wife's face so you can spam it in the chat and stuff like that. Or the middle finger, something like that. I don't know. Um, but I do want to say thanks to everybody who listened to Corrupted the other night. Uh, that was uh, a weird episode. <laughs> Probably one of the weirdest episodes ever. Um, I want to say thanks to Chad for becoming a patron. We're going to have a lot of big announcements over the next couple weeks. Uh, a couple new shows, a couple tweaks to shows, big sort of things coming up. Um, so you can stay uh, stay available for that. Uh, stay tuned for that. I don't know. Stay available for that? What the fuck does that mean? Chad, thanks for the $2. Hey, yo, Chico. He's back on Patreon with the $2. Thank you to Hey, yo, Chico. And Boston Supreme. Uh, Carl Matz is back again. Uh, y Society. And I thank everybody who really busted their ass to get back on Patreon, despite Patreon's stupid card glitch. I definitely recommend if you want to be a patron that you do it through PayPal because then it will just reoccur. You won't have to worry about it, I don't believe. But something with cards, like 30 to 40% of people that use credit cards seem to have some kind of issue eventually. It's very strange, and I'm so sorry about it. And a bunch of you have left Patreon because of it over the years, you know what I mean? So, I mean, some of you decided finally to make a, Patre a PayPal, so uh, thank you for that. Patreon seems to think it's not a problem, that the cards just don't work anymore, but they're dumb. Uh, but there's nothing you can do about them being dumb because, um, I don't know, they're eating granola somewhere. Uh, James Tharp, thanks for becoming a $5 patron. Um, Kay Mansa became a $2 patron. Uh, Matt Beer in the $10 VIP spot. Thank you to Matt. Awandi is back with $2. Um, Jade, what's up to Jade? She's back. Uh, uh, Scott, Mr. Scott McKinnon from the 2 to 5 bucks. Tony from Revere. What's up, Tony? I think you hit me up on um, Facebook, but I didn't respond yet. I will. Uh, Tony, thank you. Uh, $5 from Johnny for Life. Patrick Crawford's back on Patreon as well. Um, and um, Jamie Phillips is back. Um, Alan Kenneth, Alan Foster in the $10 VIP. My son champion went up to the VIP. And uh, we'll talk about whatever the hell you guys want to talk about today on this uh, show. Super Chats are on down below if you want to Super Chat or if you want to use the regular donation uh Streamlabs, Twitch alerts, whatever down there below, you can do that as well. You can eat, and when you donate, if you want, 
please, uh, if you want to, let me know if you hate New Day or you love New Day or you think New Day is great or whatever, and I will tally them up if I can. If there's enough of them, we'll, we'll do a little tally here. Um, we'll see what you guys think. If not, whatever, but we'll do it if you want. If not, whatever. Hey, there's me looking like a moron with my bald Captain uh, Picard t-shirt on that I've had on since yesterday. It's weird to see a t-shirt on a person and all you see is the bald head of some man down below and the egg head of a guy uh, down below looking very saucy right there. Um, yes, I am still trying to follow people back uh, on Twitter. So yeah, if you follow me on Twitter, I will try to follow you back. It, it limits how many people you can follow. Uh, so that's the only reason why I probably haven't if, you know, whatever. Uh, limits me to like 50 a day or something like that. At JCS um, Commentary. My new Twitter account, obviously I'm banned for life. And they found my other one and, you know, people wanted to take it down probably things like that so then you put that together with how twitter doesn't like me anyway so what are you gonna do you know jcs commentary that's the new twitter handle maybe we can get back to at least a thousand followers i used to have thirty six thousand followers then i had every time i make a new one i have way less you know six thousand three thousand now we're down to uh seven hundred you gotta build it up all over again probably for it to just go down again but Penis papples. Uh, so there you go. Um, last night, James Mesner dropped a donation. Let me just see what that's about. Nine bucks for a fuck. Someone donated nine. I'm getting hard. I got nine inches inside of your wife. Nine bucks. I'm shooting my semen to the ceiling. I'm coming and my balls have to blue. Suck my dick! Go ahead and suck it up. Suck it now. Hey, sexy. Yeah, what's going on? Thank you to James Mesner. He dropped that yesterday, and uh, I don't know if he's here to see that, but uh, thank you, James. Uh, I did not know that that came in while I was probably sleeping before starting Sunday night gaming. And I'm sorry that I was not here. Um, for Sunday night gaming, but, um, I, I'm pissed, dude, but I think we'll have Warzone back at some point, but, you know, one of the problems is, uh, Troy has been going to bed early, I guess, he's been falling asleep early, and I mean, I have been too, because I've been doing all this yard work, so, it's been kind of the same for me too. Um, so... I don't know. I just didn't feel like playing, man, with random people, and I was tired anyway. So, like, that's really what happened. It was just all the yard work and having the headache. And But if Troy was on, I was going to battle through the headache. If my buddy was on, I was going to battle through the headache. You know what I mean? I love playing with uh, people that I know in real life, um, but I'll definitely play with anybody. Like, Mr. Nice Guy, you know, plays with us. We play with listeners all the time. You know, we used to play with uh, everybody, you know? Jake, uh, you know, unfortunately, Jake DeMarco, people asked about him, too. Jake DeMarco just doesn't really play uh, games anymore, you know? So I can't really play with him anymore. My buddy Bobby doesn't play anymore. You know, D-Moon is playing with somebody else. Um, Troy, uh, this last couple weeks, has been going to bed early. You know, he had some weird sleeping issues or some kind of thing. Um, and so, yeah, it just made me not want to really play. But I do want to play, but only if I can play with Troy. But he may be on later today, though, so we may play in the daytime in a little bit, so... If people are looking for that, we may stream games coming up before Raw or uh, at some point like that, um, you know. So, um, yeah, just uh, felt bad, man. Felt bad to play. Uh, Tommy uh, flipped out on Corrupted Podcast the other day. If you guys didn't hear it on Corrupted, uh, Tommy lost his goddamn mind. Um, I hope you guys can become patrons on Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. We're back up to 323 Here patrons, which is really good. So, go. Oh, shit. We're going to get back to the New Day discussion. Here comes one for the New Day. Chiz Hickney's. New Day rocks. New Day rocks. Chiz Hickney's, thank you so much, man, for the $13. All right, that's a vote for New Day, I guess, right? Or or no? It's, do you think that they're the greatest tag team uh, faction of all time? Or Chiz Hickney's in the chat, let me know. I'll put you down for a check mark on that.
One second. All right. Um, so, Chizikni's, I'm going to assume that you mean that they're the greatest tag team of all time, or they're the greatest faction of all time. I'm going to put a yes next to their name. But you tell me that, that you tell me that that's a no, and we'll figure that shit out, man. We'll we'll, we'll change that shit, brother. Um, yes, I was working today. Thank you for noticing that on, t on Twitter, man. Uh, dude, l I, there are rocks in front of my house because, okay, so many of you guys may remember this, but a year ago, Chizikneys, thank you, by the way, I did not forget about the Tommy clip that I'm going to play in a minute. This guy lost his goddamn mind. It's funny shit. He lost his mind on Corrupted the other night, and all I was doing was making a joke that I make love to my own mother. I was saying that I made love to my own mother, and then I was saying, what if you made love to your mother's? And it was just gross and weird. But anyway, he took he just snapped. And we're going to play that for you in a minute. Uh, but yeah, dude, in front of my house, which obviously we moved in a year ago, you know, sa saved for 12 years. You know, it's, I love working. Dude, I love working on this house. Stuff falls apart. It sucks. It's a lot of, you know, to work on things. But I love it. I don't give a crap, dude. I would have taken a dumpster. I would live in a dumpster to get to just have my own place. So I'm, I'm happy to be in my own place. I'll have a dumpster. I don't care. But, um... This guy came to work on uh, the Leah's dad knew came to work on the walkway, you know, and and everything, you know. When we moved in, you know, I was told like, oh, listen, you know, my I know everybody. We will never have to fix anything because my family knows everybody, and they'll just do it for us, and it won't cost any money really, and all these things. And we got here, and that was just the furthest thing from anything. So every time we have someone do a favor for us, they never do it, or they show up late, or they show up, they start it, and they don't finish it. This guy started the walkway. A year ago, a year ago, around this time, started the walkway. He did the bricks on the bottom of the house. So there's a walkway. There's like two sections to the front walkway of the front yard. And it's so steep. It's like dangerous. It's dangerous. It's like one of the most dangerous. You walk uphill to get to our house. It's like a goddamn mountain. And this guy lays the bricks down. And then after he lays the bricks down, on the first part of the walkway, then there's the stepping stones, and then there's another walkway, then there's the stairs. This fucking guy never came back to finish it, ever. He came back one day, he did one little thing and then left. He came back one day, it rained, and he left. He came back two months later, did something little, and then left. I mean, dude, this could have been done in a day. Something that could have been done in a day, and he was paid for up front. And he's friends with uh, Leah's dad. It's hilarious. So... I'm out there this morning putting this shit together, so I finally finished something. Because what he did was he put down these little tiny rocks that were, like, spiky, and they fucking, like, stab your feet. So the walkway that was there before was actually better because at least, like, it was pavement or whatever, and when you're walking, the stones to go down, the stones, like, stick up. So you could trip over the stones and fall down the whole fucking thing. And I don't know, so like, but whatever, but, but at least the ground was flat, and this ground was not flat, and um, it was, it, dude, it was horrible. It was horrible. Um, and so, he does the first half of it. And he does the first half of it, but he doesn't do the second half, and these graded rocks that he used were just like gar like garbage. They stab your feet. And I guess he, he used the graded rocks because then he built bricks in. And the bricks looked okay, and I thought the bricks were fine. And I was like, all right, cool. The bricks are whatever they are, you know what I mean? It's That's cool. The bricks are whatever. I'm, I'm down with the bricks, you know? And then he just left the other part and never finished it. And now I've got a photo of before here. Let me show you this. And then we'll get back to the New Day. We got the New Day stuff. Chiz Hickney's donated $13. Chiz Hickney's, thank you. And we'll get back to what Chiz Hickney's thinks about this whole thing. And I'll get back to what I think about the New Day. But yeah, so this is the before, right? This is what it looked like before. See those stones in the middle? You could trip over those. These was just pavement right here. So this is pavement. This is what it originally looked like, pavement. And then what happened is, you know, he came and did the bricks, so when he came and did the bricks, it looked like this. When he came and did the bricks, it looked like that. See that? Well, the, those the, these bricks look pretty good. You know, those look pretty good bricks right there. So, you, so then he was supposed to finish and do more bricks here, right? Do some more bricks here. 
Now, what this is isn't the pavement anymore right here. This is not the pavement anymore. This is the fucking, like, little rocks that he dumped down. And they stab your feet. And he never came back. It's May. It's been over a year. Over a year ago, he put these bricks down, and then he just never came back, even though he was paid in full for it. It's, rid- it's crazy. So today, I went outside, and I did this for cheap. I mean, this was cheap as shit, what I did. Well, first, it looked like this. I laid the stones down, and it looked like this. And I'm fucking dying out there, like ripping stuff up and all these things. So there's the rocks still there. There's the rocks that are still there. Stab your feet, dirt and rock, stab your feet. So I laid some of these rocks down right there. And then I put down dirt, and now I've got to build like a, uh, I got to build like a, you know, a, a mount around it so the dirt just doesn't take off. And then, and then I might dump, dump some soft pebbles around it or something like that. But anyway, quick fix, you know what I mean? Quick fix, sixty bucks. It was about sixty bucks to do that, but. It's better than walking on those goddamn sharp rocks that were stabbing the shit out of my feet. It's not done yet either, by the way. But, I mean, it's close to done. And it's better than it was. But you know what? I'm fucking dehydrated from it. I'm dehydrated from doing this. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Chizikneys, thanks for the $13. Do we ever find out in the chat if Chizikneys said what the hell is going on? Um, Joe's walkway is full of Dwayne Johnsons. Oh my God, that's what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my God, dude. Oh, so anyway, yeah. So Tommy went crazy. Then I we're gonna play that. Uh, Chizikney's man, thank you for supporting my stream as always, dude. Even though you're a big patron and a big supporter, you still donated live. Thank you, man. What I do without you? Um, let me get the phone lines open on Skype. Shout out to Dave Rose, who's in the chat. What up, Dave? All right, here we go. Oh, I got to change my uh, Skype name. <laughs> I had it changed over the other day. Let me see here. Oh, no, that's still the same. How the fuck do I change it? <coughs> um, okay, here we go. I guess you can at me on Skype at Joe Cronin Show, maybe? Um, I got to change all kinds of things that I don't know how to do it. Um, no idea how to do this. What am I doing right now? Oh, here it is. I found it. Okay. There we go. All right. So here we go. Let's listen to Tommy. So maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right here. But I, I basically was making a joke. You know what I mean? I was trying to make a joke. Um, oh, my God. BD, BD Skeleton with a super chat. That will pop up in a minute, BD Skeleton. Give me a minute to pop that up. But look at that. A poop emoji. Unbelievable. Poopy emoji. Uh, do... <laughs> If you guys want, hit that like button down below. I really appreciate it. Uh, you guys are all uh, beasts. And I listen, I'm also really, really sorry, man. I fucked up last night by making people wait. I felt... I know. I, I don't want to say this too long because I don't want to be some kind of fucking little crybaby. But I, I just want to say to you that I, I really... I, 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 Dude, keeping you guys waiting last night for up to two hours, talking about Sunday night gaming all day, people in the chat waiting for me, I passed out. And then I deleted the stream when I woke up because I knew I wasn't going to get on and I was dead and I had a headache. I am so sorry, man, that I didn't go live at least to say, hey, I'm, go- I'm not going live. I've got to get out of here. Or at least letting it very well be known what was going on, that I had, a- I had a migraine and that I was passing out. I can't say sorry enough to you guys that waited in that chat. That would fucking piss me off if I was ready for a streamer to be doing something and I planned around it or whatever the case is. Some of you guys plan around this shit. Some of you guys are like, fuck watching a movie tonight or fuck doing this tonight. I'm going to watch Joe watch play video games, hang out in the chat, and I'm going to have some pizza or something. 
you know, and then all of a sudden, where's Joe and where's the show? And, you know, I'm in the chat. Cool. But like, you know, where's something to listen to or watch or, you know, hoping to be whatever. And so anyway, I fucked up like wicked bad. Um, and I felt like shit. Like, I, the, the, I mean, dude, like I'm telling you the, the fucking nervousness this morning when I woke up of realizing that that really happened last night. And, um, you know, L- Leah was like sending Leah. I, I woke up to messages from Leah, like, get up, you idiot fucking asshole. There's people waiting for you. And <laughs> she was pissed. Um, I told her she should have gone live and just fucking like done some kind of thing. <laughs> But no, she was on it trying to get me up. But I told her, I was like, I have a migraine in my fucking eye. It feels like someone's ripping my eye out of the back of my head. And um, I was just delusional at that point. I I think I had some heat stroke or something. Because I was out all day trying to fix the yard and everything. Because I knew it was the warmest day of the year. It was the warmest day of the year. 74 degrees yesterday. And all this shit wrong with the yard, the house, the leaks. And I was doing all of it, trying to get it all done. And goddamn fucking burning shit in the backyard. And neighbors and... I thought I could do it all and still do Sunday Night Gaming, and I was fucking wrong. And if you ask Dave Rose, uh, Dave Rose will tell you how I, I like to try to take on a bunch of shit instead of just focusing on one thing and making sure I do that right. Instead, I started about seven projects yesterday. I finished about two of them and fucked up three more, and then I completely bailed on you guys. So um, I, I, I'm an asshole for that, and I'm sorry that I did that to you guys. Especially you guys that donate and that are patrons and that are waiting all day and that plan stuff around your day. Even if you're not a patron and you're just here all the time. Whatever. Everybody. It doesn't matter who you are. I don't know. It's fucked up, man. I'm sorry. But I'm aware that I did. I'm very aware and I'm not happy with myself. So I'm sorry. Um, let's go to Tommy now. Let's see if we can find this uh, where he flips out. And uh, McJugger Nuggets seeing the match live. Sitting dead. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Now, I love I love calling myself out. I have no problem calling myself out when it comes to certain things. Yeah, sometimes maybe I have a problem with it and I don't do the right thing. But not all dude, I was in such a mental mood this weekend because I'm a psycho idiot. Like just know that I'm I'm not normal. I'm, I'm I am I am a messed up emotional idiot. So Tommy first of all, I was trying to joke about like I made love to my mother. And then I tried to joke about Tommy making love to his mother. His mother is because he's got two of them. And then him getting upset at me actually made me sad as shit. So then the next 20 minutes on Corrupted, I was, I was like, useless because I was in a horrible mood. Because I said, you know what? I'm a, real, I, I'm a piece of garbage, you know what I mean? I even, Tommy says so. Um, and I am. I'm, I'm a big piece of shit out there. I want you to know that. I am an idiot. My, everybody agrees that I, I am a piece of shit. That's just a fact. Not trying to feel bad. Not trying to feel sorry. Not trying to self-loathe. Not trying to woe is me. Oh, it's just a fact. And so... I, I realized that how mad Tommy was at me for this, and I, I couldn't believe how mad he was. And I actually started fucking crying on the goddamn show. <laughs> but nobody could tell. Nobody could hear. Nobody could tell. But you can hear it in my voice. And I texted Tommy. I said, you know, Tommy, you got me to fucking ball. I think you, I think you win. I think you uh, won. And if Tommy NC is listening right now, he'll tell you, man. Uh, Tommy, you got me to fucking uh, break down, bro. You did fucking, I think you might have broke me. And, he, and I go, don't you feel good about that? He goes, no. I'm like, well, but you should because all the times I got you to flip out, we got you to fucking, you know, you got me to fucking freak out. You know, and he was like, oh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, that's not a good thing to be happy about. And I'm like, I'm telling you, Tommy, you did it. Right. I'm just thinking about which one of them. Everything out on- oh, here it is. Like, great. Like, I, when you flip out, I mean, when you get angry like that. By the way, thank you to everybody who became a patron on Corrupted the other day. Uh, we are going to get back to the topic at hand, which is New Day. We're talking about the New Day. Are they the greatest tag team faction of all time? Do you think they're the greatest faction of all time? Um, I don't know, but we're going to talk about it. Right now, I got one yes from Chizikney's, unless he said no, and then I don't know. Um, I, I'm not sure. But uh, let's go ahead. This is a great clip. I think it's a wonderful clip of Tommy from Corrupted. If, if you're not on Corrupted, guys, the full pre-show and whole show together was two hours and 54 minutes. You can hear it right now. For $1, you can hear that. For $2, you can get the audio download of the official show. But I think the official show doesn't have the pre-show, which doesn't make sense, but whatever. The bottom line is you can hear it on YouTube. Uh, Corrupted the other night, Tommy NC 2010. Here's a little bit of what happened if you missed it. That's funny, I guess. If I can find it. You actually... Oh my god. There's a fucking show. You can trigger me. Oh, here it is. I know you're in a fucking sh- 
Here it is. Tommy's just all fucked up. There's no way to address that. I have AIDS. Hogan's not racist. Okay. <laughs> this is, uh, I adore this. Remember when I told my mother I have AIDS? Yeah. Just live randomly on some early evening stream. Of... I did tell my mother I had AIDS. It was crazy. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we're going to get back to the faction talk in a minute. I just want a few more people to get in here live, and then we're going to get really into who's the best faction of all time. We're going to take phone calls on it. All that shit. So just stay tuned for that. But here is uh, Tommy's freak out and my freak out from uh, pa uh, Patreon corrupted the other night. I just was like, "Yo, I got fucking AIDS, man. Did you know that?" And my mother was like, "That's weird because I'm horny." And I was like, "Oh, this is crazy. Like, I didn't think it would get to be this good, man. I, I really didn't." <laughs> oh my god! Did you know that, Tommy? That's dementia, Joe. What do you mean? You don't have AIDS. Me and my mother have AIDS. We fucked. Oh, okay, dokey. <laughs> <laughs> I love Tommy. He's just all fucked up. There's no way to address that. I'm just going to let that one go. <laughs> I'm just saying the worst shit ever to make Tommy completely uncomfortable. Yeah. Worst ever. Yeah. yeah. Imagine you and your two moms like in a three way, like my. Fuck my... you, Joe. Oh, fuck my you. God. Oh. oh. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, man. What? Or, I, I know you're in a fucking shitty mood, but stop taking your shitty mood and trying to shit on me. But I'm not. What does this have to do with shitting on you, though? That's just your. Like, stop talking about my mom, fucking mom, okay? I just said, imagine having sex with both your moms. Don't fucking say that either, man. What the <laughs> fuck? Why are you trying to turn me upside down? What? What? Turn what the fuck you... upside down, and you're it sounds like he's trying to down. turn your mother's upside down. Is what it fuck sounds you like. Too. Fuck you too. Fuck you guys. What are you so mad about? What the fuck? You guys are being dickheads right now. No, I didn't do anything. Why? Yes, you fucking are. Yes, you are. You're fucking. Where is this coming from, man? You what guys is... are both playing on my fucking head, and I don't fucking appreciate it. Playing on your head? What, Tommy? What are you talking about? I, I didn't fucking say it. Saying triggering words just to get me fucking down. I just I was trying to freak you out. I wasn't trying to make you angry. Well, it's fucking pissing me off, and I don't like it. Wow, dude, you're like raging. Like I, you would have thought I said fuck your mothers, and I hope they die. That's not what I said. I said I hope you fornicate with their titties. That's fucking bullshit. What the fuck? What? <laughs> oh my god. I feel like this isn't really a you big deal. You are a fucking nitwit, Joe. Is you this are real a life? Sack of shit sometimes. <laughs> you can be the biggest sack of shit ever, Joe. I swear. Here's the sack of shit. Here's Joe Cronin. Just put it together. My god, Joe. Jesus I swear. Christ. That's all you ever do is try to trigger me, man. You'll sit there with a fucking smirk, shit eating smirk on your, on your face, trying to get what, me fucking what? triggered. Every fucking goddamn time you sit there, Joe, with a sack of money in your hand, you fucking trying to fucking trigger me. Every with goddamn time. With a sack time. of money in my hand? What the fuck? <laughs> what, did, what the fuck, Tommy? Did what you get is... a DM before the show or something? <laughs> What's no, going I, on? I, I just, I see how Joe works. I see he literally sits there. How can I piss off Tommy? How can I trigger Tommy? I'll say something about Deb A. I'll say something about Crystal. I'll say something about Ashley. Slightly, and then fucking piss off Tommy. I said, I Every saw... goddamn motherfucking time. I see how you work, Joe. I see how it fucking works, man. I see, I, I see you right the line. Every fucking time, trying to fucking trigger me just to get your percentage. I, I see it, Joe. I what? fucking see it. I don't fucking appreciate it. Stop trying to trigger me, Joe. What do you... Dude, I just said, I'm like... I'm putting my fucking foot down right now, and I'm saying you... Don't stop fucking with me, Joe. I ain't gonna fucking stop doing every fucking show with you. You fucking understand me? Stop trying to fucking trigger me. I'm putting my foot down today, Joe. Stop. You keep fucking triggering me and keep doing all this shit. I'm fucking ending it. I'm not gonna come on. Monetize this. I'm not gonna come on any wrestling reviews. So if you keep fucking triggering me, oh, yeah? I'm putting my foot down today, I bet Joe. You'll go if I think that... um. I think he needs to have sex because, I mean, that whole thing started with, like, I make love to my own mother and that my mother has AIDS and she gave it to me and I make love to my mother. Like, I said all of that before this. And then I said to him, 
Yeah, dude, Tommy, imagine if you uh, hooked up with your mother or both your mothers, and then you, like, flipped out, and I was like, oh, uh, you know, I expected him to say, like, Joe, come on, dude, that's gross. What the hell, man? Like, I expected that. And then I was like, ah, ha, ha. anyway, uh, anyway, let's get on with the show type of thing. You know, that's what I expected. I did not expect him to just freak the hell out, you know? He wasn't it. Yeah. <laughs> I just was like, yo, I got fucking AIDS, man. Did you know that? And my mother was like, that's weird because I'm horny. And I was like, this is crazy. Like, I didn't think it would get to be this good, man. I, I really didn't. I love Tommy, though. Yeah, it's funny. Did you know that, Tommy? That's Demented Joe. What do you mean? You don't have AIDS. Me and my mother have AIDS. We fucked. I mean, I, 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 I'm literally making the worst joke about my own mother, and then, you know... I'm kidding with my mom! Nothing yeah. to do. Nothing yeah. to do. Nothing yeah, to do with the yeah. show. No, Joe, I'm putting my foot down today. I don't even know why you're mad right now. I don't understand this. Like, I just... <laughs> I wasn't talking shit about yes, her. You're, you're talking about fornicating with my mom. I was talking Fuck about you. fornicating with my mom before that, and then I went, okay, well, move it to your mom. I I said this about my own mother like five minutes before this. I this isn't triggering you. I mean, you're. Oh my god, Dave Rose in the chat goes, he's going through a Denny's withdrawal. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I need Denny's. <laughs> Oh, Dave, that's funny. Going crazy over nothing. Who's text? Omar, what's up, Omar? Texting you right now or something. No like, one's what? fucking texting me. It's my own brain thinking. You're thinking it's me crazy. Thinking. It's me thinking, okay? I'm connecting the dots here. What I'm dots? Connect dots. I'm fucking smart. I'm not fucking dumb autistic like you think I am. Why like you think talk? Tommy doesn't do know what think? he's talking about. Like I hear you every fucking night calling me a fucking idiot. What saying I don't know how about? I'm thinking. Sometimes I hear I tune into the show sometimes and I hear you dog. By the way, we went on to have a good show after this. It was just surprising. You know, I you know, I think it is I think it's like all the other stuff Tommy was thinking about, so he like jumped to the conclusion that this the, this was about some, you know what I mean? I think he thought that, like I was taking some kind of weird shot or something. I, I don't know what it was, but um I don't blame him, you know what I mean? This is like all the other stuff culminating into him snapping here. Um but definitely surprised me uh, him getting mad at this. Like it was very but I I, I think I understand what happened. You know, I love the guy, and listen, you know he's got people fuck with him so much that he's he doesn't he's losing his mind here. So, but this was funny though. Fucking me out sometimes, and it, it it fucking amazes me how much money I make you sometimes, Joe, and uh, and then fucking <laughs> you dog me out. I pay you to be on the show. Dog him out. By the way, he there's no way he learned. He doesn't say dog you out. Somebody else taught him how to say dog you out because that's not something Tommy says dog you out that's not something tommy ever said before that's some kind of that's someone telling him that i dog him or something like that now he's repeating it and that's clear as day from from that because no he doesn't say dog you out shows you don't make other people who bash you pay you to be on their shows why do you always bring in other people me and you are having a one-on conversation about me and you because you're a hypocrite he is a hypocrite He's got some kind of thing with me where he takes everything out on me like it's it's very very bizarre. Or something like that and you flip out and it's like that's nothing. That's not where I came from but it was out of nowhere to me. Exactly what you mean. I, yeah. Hey, I, as a fan, I, you know, I Anyway, that was basically uh all the flip out I got. But um well, let's go back to I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh you can listen to the whole thing on corrupted uh, patreoncom Cronin show. Uh, the Corrupted Podcast, one of the weirdest episodes ever of Corrupted. It was episode 150. It was a little bizarre, but, um, you know, it is what it is. What are you going to do? Um, I think we've learned uh, over the last couple months, especially, that I am a piece of shit uh, asshole. <laughs> Super Chat Party. BD Skeleton, thank you for the dollar, man. Super Chat Party coming in from BD Skeleton with the poop emoji. Um, going back to, um, going back to this New Day thing, I mean, I, 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 listen, again, like I said, I think that these guys will go down as one of the greatest mid-card factions ever. Um, they are in the, they are definitely, I think they're in the top ten. Let me, let me, let me check out, like, who, who's the greatest 
greatest wrestling factions all time, right? Like, let's let's get a list kind of going here, right? And in the chat, feel free to 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 answer. Um, you know, the Four Horsemen are are in there. The NWO, DX. Um, those guys are in there for me, right? The Four Horsemen, NWO, DX. Like, that would be my, like, tier A. You know, tier B, tier C, and we'll make a tier list. Um, like, the Nexus, that didn't last very long, and I didn't even like it. So I'd put them in tier C. The Wyatt family, I'd probably put them in, like, tier B, you know? Ministry of Darkness was was short-lived, but cool. I'd put them in probably, like, tier B. The Shield, you know, that was a big team. You know, they were a big thing for the WWE for a while at a certain time. I might put them in tier A, you know, and I might put, uh, I might put, do we put New Day in, in tier A? You know, that's that's the thing. And, and, and a lot of it would be based on lo- longevity to me. You know what I mean? Let me know. What do, you, what do you guys think about this? Like, where can we put certain groups? The Heart Foundation's got to go on here, too, probably. Do we put them in Tier A? I don't know. Do we put the Wyatt family in Tier A? Should the Wyatt family be in Tier A? I, you know, I don't know. So I'll make the tiers. Now I'll go up here and I'll try to make the, the, the list, you know? NWO, Four Horsemen. Um, I'm going to spell stuff wrong and I don't care. Uh, DX. Um, you know, where, 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 but, you know, the New Day isn't going up here, you know, to me. They're going in here, but they're not going up here. So de- New, New Day is, to, New Day is definitely in the top 10 to me, right? I think they're in the top 10, the New Day. The Freebirds, fabulous Freebirds. They're probably up there, up there as well. Modern day though, new day. Um, the modern day uh, stables last ten years or twenty, twenty years, ten years, whatever you want to say. Last ten years, you probably go Shield, right? Shield, New Day, right? Shield, New Day, right? Well, who else? Anybody got anybody else? Last ten years, Shield, New Day. Rybaxel, greater than New Day, some people are saying. Let me see. Um, if you guys want to become a members down below and join, uh, that'd be cool. We got two sweet joined, Omar Vakarani. Dudley Boys, is that a, Yeah, Dudley Boys, I guess, could be a faction, right? Yeah, especially when they had the old Dudley family and everything. Um. I don't know. New, New Day's in, in there somewhere, but they're not the top at all to me. They're not the top. Longevity wise, I, I again I give them big credit. I think they're one of the like they're one of the longest running solid mid card um top mid card. Um I don't want to say mid card because like they're better than that, but it's like they're not Do you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know, I'm having problems uh figuring this out in my own head. You know what I mean? Wow. Bullet Club, yeah, Bullet Club maybe should be on there. Yeah, that's true. Five oh three, hello. Hey, it's Dan and Cora. Hey, what's up? How are you guys, man? We're good. Dan's working from home, so if he gets a call, I'll have to hang up. But I just wanted to say, don't be hard on yourself about missing last night. Shit uh, happens, you know? And all the people who watch your show know you are on all the time. Just don't worry about it. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I had a lot of people like, dude, you're on all the time. It's crazy. And I'm like, yeah, but I wish I hadn't have... Uh, I agree. It's not that big a deal, but I just I felt bad to keep people waiting. That's like one of the wor- like the things that I'm always late. But I mean, <laughs> I just don't like when people are like, "Oh, where is he?" You know? Yeah, and, I hear you. Yeah, so it's well this of all the of all the days, Sunday night gaming is the one that you keep pretty low key and play it by ear. If, so if you were gonna miss one, that's the one that's really cool not to worry about. Right, yeah, because, I mean, and some people don't even, it's just me playing video games. Some people, it's not really a big deal anyway, so. Um, yeah, like, Dan and I, we don't play video, well, Dan and Dave play video games, but I don't. Yeah. 
And so what we do with your game, we watch the first like 10, 20 minutes, and yeah. then we usually don't watch the rest. Right. Um, just to catch up on Joe updates and stuff. So, yeah, I've had other people yeah, say, don't worry about it. I've had other people too say like, yeah, I don't really watch video game streams either. I don't really get it. And, you know, there's only whatever. So what they'll do is sometimes they'll, they'll rewatch the stream, like, or they'll, they'll click on the stream the next day and they'll go in the comments mm-hmm. and they'll look for timestamps in the comments. Like if something funny happened that they missed, you know? So I'm like, yeah, that's a, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's a good idea. I'm like, that's cool. Cause yeah, some people love hanging out in them, and then other people don't. I, I'm I'm I go both ways. Like there's sometimes I don't watch a lot of gaming streams, but sometimes I do. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, I get that not not everybody is into those. So, but um, yeah, you watch it the next day for the clips if there's something ridiculous that happened or like I got angry and I threw something up into the air or something. It's kind of funny. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, no. And I, I want I just want to suggest if it's okay. I'm not a landscaper, but uh. If I were you, I would get just one bag of, um, like, um, the fuck, I just, Dan, what was it called? I just fucking said it. I don't know shit about it either. Wood chips or, um, bark dust, that's it. Ah. It, and put it on top of that dirt, because that's going to be a muddy fucking mess, and you're going to have birds digging through that for worms and shit and it's going to be messy as fuck oh yeah so what i plan on doing because you're right and haskell 420 was messaging me about this too and i agree i'm actually gonna like build a frame around it and then i'm gonna put in ro- oh. i'm gonna put rocks down too but um nice. I, I haven't done that yet obviously so because now yeah if it rains like most of that dirt within three to six weeks that dirt's just gonna wash down the hill and so. wait till one of your kids decides to go outside and make mud pies Oh, Bre- Brent, Brent has already done that yesterday. The, oh, <laughs> the, the the neighbors' kids, the, they're little. You know, there there's a a little four year old and a and a and a one year old now, um, uh-huh. or not even. Uh, and so they're outside and they're playing. And the fence, we had to rip the they had to rip the fence down the other day. So the kids are like, oh, oh no. hey you, and like and we can just walk over there. But the kids, for whatever reason, the kids are like aware of the social distancing so the, they're, they, they're they're playing and they're not crossing the yard even though the fence is completely uh-huh. gone so they're they're sitting uh eight feet away from each other playing in the dirt with tonka trucks both both our kids have tonka trucks so they, they've created this construction site so finn and brenna are playing and then he's playing over there and they're looking at each other and they're talking about what they're doing and everything but they're not coming near each other and yeah, my neighbor was like, "Look, they're so they're like they they're so cute. They won't they're not getting close to each other, but like they don't even know. So how do they know? So it's weird that they Joe, just a second. Thanks for picking up your dog's poop in our yard. It's fine this time, but you should carry ba- dog oh, in our yard. Oh God, right of- that's going on in my neighborhood like crazy. Yeah, I know. Next time, just carry a bag with you. Thanks. Wow. Sorry, Joe. Go kick their ass. No. Uh- <laughs> well. It's a twelve-year-old kid. And oh, the dog okay. Don't in front of the, in front of us. What? And so I wanted to shame him a little bit and say, "Just carry a fucking bag." Oh Dan, my <laughs> god! What is like? Dan smiles. So I'm from the West Coast and I'm pretty loud and I curse and I call people on their shit. And in the Midwest, people don't do that. Yeah, they get so freaked South out. South Dakotans don't like that about me. They're like, "Oh, someone." Calling me out on it? Yeah, I'm gonna fucking tell you to pick up your dog shit out of her yard. I'm surprised <laughs> that people do that out where you are, because every time I meet someone from the West Coast, they're like, "Just chill out, and it's all good." And I'm like, "No, I say shit." Like, so, no. what am I crazy? Well, in Oregon, it's a little different. Oh, okay. Yeah, I Oregon. don't know. Yeah, it's. But uh, yeah, you'd get yelled yeah. at here. Like every day on Facebook in my neighborhood, it's like posts about like clean up your dog, whatever. And I'm like, who brings their dog around and lets them just shit? And like you said, that's a kid, so that's a little different. Like, okay, learn next time. But like, this is like adults, like you know. Yeah. And then, then I have a, I have two dogs. So then I'm like, now, everybody with dogs then is like, oh, they're gonna think it's my dog. I don't do that. You know, it's like at my uh, old apartment complex in Oregon, the landlords had fucking cameras out, Joe. Yeah. And they were taking videos and then they would find out who it was and they would email the video said you need to pick up your dog shit or we're finding you oh wow they're they're, they're well they're doing that yeah. here people are doing that here now on the facebook posting they're posting the part like they hey thank you like shaming them with the photos <laughs> like in the videos um yeah because it sucks it's like you go you don't have a dog and you get shit all over your lawn or you're stepping it you're like what, am, mm-hmm. what the hell's going on yeah i would never do that my dogs go to the bathroom in our backyard and 
Obviously, yeah. right now we have to take them out with a leash, actually. But normally, you just we just let them in the back. We clean it up, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Like, and and when we go on walks, the dogs don't go to the bathroom because they already went or they know they go in the backyard, so they don't even try to go. And even pi- even yeah. pissing, it's like they're they're peeing on your grass. It will leave a big patch. Yeah. So yeah, I'm in like well, I'm supposedly in... there's shit you can put in their water. My mom does this with her dogs. I don't know why she pays twenty bucks. Oh my god! To buy this shit in a bottle. I'm not kidding. You squeeze this shit in their water, and it's like some vitamin <laughs> shit, so their piss won't kill the grass. Oh my god! And what does that do to them? Work. Do they get bladder cancer after five years of? Well, I don't know about that. The lab's only five years old, but uh, it's, there's so many like stupid people who. I mean, she has pet insurance on her dogs, and wow. I mean, she goes kind of crazy. I yeah. mean, I, I'm her only child, so the dogs are kind of like her kids now. But yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, people with out kids or with only one. Yeah, they get dogs and like when you and Leah have an empty nest. Can you imagine Leah being like a cat or a dog lady? Well, Leah, yeah, I mean, definitely. Guys... Well, Leah, Leah had like iguana, two cats, ferrets, all that when she was in high school. So she's an animal person. Uh, so, yeah, when we don't have kids anymore, we're actually getting a chicken coop. So we're going to have chickens soon. So I'll be interested. Oh, that'll be cool. I've done that before, the chicken thing. Yeah. It can be fun and it can be annoying. The, the coolest ones are the silkies. They're t- small. And they're fluffy, and you can actually dye their hair, their feathers, to make them look like fucking like peeps if you want to. <laughs> yeah, no, we're going to do, um, I think we're doing Rhode Island something. Uh-huh. Because they're, I guess, the they're one of the easier ones to deal with and whatever else. Yeah. So, but we got to run an electrical wire and then get a, get the coop. It's not a lot of money at all. And then we have eggs and whatever. You know, I think a lot of people are doing it because of the COVID stuff. But I think a lot of people freaked out the first couple mu- the first month of this. And they're like, Oh my God, I'm going to get a chicken <laughs> coop. And then after like a little while, they're like, ah, fuck the chicken coop. Never mind, Everything's whatever. <laughs> but, um, well, if you want to make him have some fun, there's a guy on YouTube who has a live stream of his chickens in their coop 24 seven. And he has a super chat feature where you can pay him and it drops treats for the fucking chickens and you can watch them <laughs> eat them. <laughs> That's hilarious. And I'm... people do this all oh, yeah. fucking day long, and it's ridiculous because Dan hates the chicken show. Yeah. So he's laughing. So when he's on a work call, right? Yeah. Is, like the big wigs, I put the fucking chicken thing on the TV to make him laugh. These people pay money all day long to feed this guy's fucking chicken. I mean, I've seen that shit, and I've said, I've, I mean, people can't believe people donate to me. So, I mean, like, people are like, what the fuck? Uh, but no, it's the same. Th- I mean, just people do want to interact nowadays. They want to do all this crazy stuff. Um, remember the animal, all the animal cameras with the zoos and the, the 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 bird nests, and there's like people super chatting fifty dollars every like thirty seconds. Um, I yeah, mean, yeah, it's crazy. So I think you know maybe I'll do something like that too on a separate channel that no one will even know about. And I, I gotta, I'll, I'll be creating all kinds of weird stuff. So, um, but yeah, yeah, I thank you for the call, and I love you guys. And uh, you're welcome. Hope the dog Have doesn't fun with shit everything anymore. and everybody in the chat. I don't care what you say about me. Oh, we got we get the we get the trolls. The trolls are I don't out there. Care. We get it's the trolls. Good. Was people trolling you? Oh yes, yeah, and I'm fat. I know I'm overweight. I don't care. I'm, I'm overweight. I'm walking around the house. I'm just standing you know, yelling at some kid about fucking shitting in the yard. <laughs> I'm on a cell phone. <laughs> the speaker, get over it, you guys. You'll be the angry. I don't you'll, fucking care. you'll be the angry lady. I mean, you know. You'll be the angry well, lady. Well, I am. I, I can be the angry lady. I don't fucking care. Yeah, just uh, just be the angry lady and just embrace it. Uh, but yeah, yeah whatever. Exactly. I mean, listen, this is the person well, that... Uh, all so, right. All right, we'll talk to you later. <laughs> all right, bye. Bye. Um, thank you to uh, Cora and Dan. Those those two support the show a lot. So yeah, you should be nice to them because uh, you're going to chase them off and then I'm going to have uh, no show anymore. No, but no, they're really cool and uh, she's nice and... Fuck 12-year-olds who let their kids uh, shit on your lawn. What's up, Leah? So, um, I just gave drugs. Yeah, you gave Clover drugs while Leah's feeding our dog drugs. Yeah. Why? Oh. Oh. Is that going to really work, you think? Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah. Huh. Okay. We'll see if uh, that works. What's up, Otaku? Did you raid me the other night like you were supposed to? It might not work. Okay. I figured we'd give it a shot. She's freaking up there, clack, 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 all over the floor, so. All right. You know? Okay. Scratches me. Oh god, is it loud? Yeah. No, it's like it's like kind of you heard it. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. Yeah, Chizikney's has the largest donation. What was Chizikney's? Thirteen dollars? I'll I'm gonna give him some credit. I gotta give Chizikney some credit. Thank you, Chizikney's man, for um keeping the shit rolling. Mr. Chizikney's. We got unknown caller on the phone. Hello? Unknown caller, you are on the air. Unknown caller. I can hear a breeze. New Day is C-tier, Mezzy Mez says. Yeah, maybe. Maybe New Day is C-tier. Maybe. Unknown caller, hello. Unknown caller. Unknown retard. Okay, they breathed into the phone, and then they said nothing. So there they go, leaving the show with a terrible call. A horrific call, a stupid call. You are a dumb call. Um, I did see the propaganda cartoon video, the Lego one trail bound. I saw that, dude. They lied, now they're making fun of us. Yeah, they are a mess. They are dumb. They are dumb. And Santa Hello. Claus will beat them to death. Omar, what's up, dude? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing all right, dude. I'm feeling better now, man. I had, like, heat stroke the other day or something. Yeah. Look, man, don't worry about what happened yesterday and all that shit. Look, your mental health is what matters first, and I'm glad you're doing okay. Like, I it's agree. been a rough week for everybody, not just you. <laughs> just yeah, me. yeah. It's, it seems like it, man. My problems are not are like not problems <laughs> you know what i mean like my like to be <laughs> yeah. honest like i i need something to complain about but my problems are just not really problems so it's it's people are dealing with crazy real shit you know yeah i, I, I probably might be in the same category but yeah um i just i'm yeah. over emotional of, of little things i i completely get where you're coming from <laughs> yeah yeah no i i'm it's true man and then sometimes people get upset at me and then i hear why they're upset i'm like oh my god you thought that that's not true at all. Like, if you should have came and told me that. So that's that's the worst thing is when people are mad at me or mad at somebody and they don't tell them because I, I would have been like, holy shit, that's not what I meant or this is what I could do to change that. Yeah, I, it's I, like I you should put that. a disclaimer before the beginning of every show like this is for comedy purposes and that's it. Like, yeah. do not take it seriously because everybody just takes everything like – Mm. It's like a matter of life and death, you know what I mean? I think Which some people <laughs> I, th I think some people want to I think some people want to make a big deal out of things like on purpose, like to get attention mm. and and you know things like that and I you know, so there's really nothing you can do about that. You know, they're just going to do that and yeah, because they know because a lot of those people that do that, they they already know. They know that the you know what happens on the show and they know that I'm kidding or you know that that other people are kidding or joking or whatever. And so they still do it so I'm assuming that what it is is that they they want a lot of times they want some kind of attention or to make a I don't know to make Big a problem. Deal out of yeah, this. yeah. I think I yeah. really think that that's what it is. But um, you know, yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, but I feel bad if, well, if people are really upset about things or different people are. You know that. Oh well, you know. Yeah, like Tommy, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I poor know. Tommy. <laughs> we really crap on him, but uh, I mean, you know, he's got a yeah. disability that I think he, I think he you know didn't real doesn't realize all the time when people are ragging on him and so i think he just flipped out so i think that's all that happened there but that's the thing he did it with other people the same thing like he he's a hypocrite most of the time because he hates when people shit on him but he can shit on people you know what i mean right yeah he bashes well, that, that he bashes people who won't come on his show exactly yeah like, <laughs> exactly yeah. that's why i have no sympathy for him i'm sorry like i don't care <laughs> I, I, I don't care yeah i think that you that's what Everyone says that. They're like, oh, that's the reason why, like, I don't mind as much because he's such an ass. So, um, but, uh, yeah, you know, I, I do have sympathy for him because he gets so many people get in his ear and manipulate him about all kinds of things. They tell him wrong Maybe, stuff. Yeah. The poor, you know, the James Worley guy, like, literally ruined him, like, seven different times, and he still was friends <laughs> with him. So, 
And I'm not talking about things like me where I'm joking about him or making fun of him. That guy really affected his channel multiple times, and he still was friends with him. So he just doesn't understand, and so I get it. But Yeah, just like with the leafy drama, he just tries to milk it as much as he can just so he can get some attention. And I see his Twitter all the time. It's like, oh, hey, uh, Keemstar, oh, look at that. Or, hey, yeah. whatever, David Dobrak, oh, my God, I'm such a huge fan. I can suck your cock, David. <laughs> I'm like... Fuck off. Get fucked, you stupid dumbass, and work on yourself. Uh, <laughs> what can you say? It's so funny, I mean? man. I was outside, and I was dying in the sun the other day, and I was thinking about, uh, I started thinking about, like, how people left Africa. You know what I mean? Like, like, a, like, a, like yeah. a, a, allegedly, right? Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly, yeah. we, we left Africa, we went to the north, we lived in the caves, we went to the colder climates. And allegedly, that's why there's white people, right? Like, because we left mm -hmm. Africa, our skin changed, and then, like, our skin became white, allegedly, because we we had trouble getting a lot of vitamin D, right? So apparently the yeah. skin paled out so we could absorb more vitamin D. But so when I'm outside working in the sun, I'm just dying, and I'm, watch and, you know, I'm looking at my neighbor who's just killing it out there, and I'm like... You know he's the, he's gonna be fine, but I'm looking at my daughter who's got a red face now, and I got burns all over me. <laughs> and yeah, I'm like, I can relate totally. Yep. Yeah, and people that are like, you know, people that are like somewhat tan, it can, it's not as bad, but you still have it. Yeah. But yeah, it's just funny how like, you know, allegedly, you know, that's what happened. They, you go to the north, you go to the caves, you go to the colder weather, and um, yeah, the skin you get changes. wider. Yeah, and so but... yeah, I can relate because I had uh, obviously I'm from Egypt, so yeah. I moved to the UK six months ago. Yeah. So here, I barely see the sun. It's like raining for a week, maybe one day, a uh, couple of hours, you see the sun, mm -hmm. and that's it. Weather really has been incredible, but obviously the whole Corona shit is like nature telling you go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah, you can go out, but you can't at the moment. You know what I mean? Right. Which is, and I can totally relate with the whole skin thing. Yeah, that like. No vitamins, and that's why I, I take shit ton of su uh, supplies and all that, because without these vitamins, you feel like you're dizzy, you're tired all the time, you don't yeah. know how to get work done, you, ba you basically have zero production to do anything. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, you need, like, I've been taking vitamin D and going out, whenever it's sunny, I'm, Same, going, yeah. I'm, like going, I'm going out and I'm sitting in the sun for, like, a half hour. Um, yeah, I go for a walk all the time, because, like, I want to snitch the chance, because there is no chance here, and it's even worse here for me. Yeah, dude, I, I yeah. that would be England, England and Ireland, like, especially England and stuff like that. That's a tough Seattle too. Um, you know, these are tough places to me to live. Like in in New England, we get a taste of it because we get that gloomy yeah, East Coast. Yeah, yeah we, in a way, yeah. it gets a little gloomy in the fall and the spring and whatever. But but then you know it's sunny as hell in the summer, and then in the winter it's snowy and even sunny in the winter. So it's like yeah, I don't at know, least like, you got a different combination and different here it's... Here it's okay in the summer, I. But like the the problem is it's not as sunny. Like it, it barely gets sunny. It's yeah. only like a month a year. What about the eleven others? Oh, it gets fucked pretty much. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, I start getting depressed, and yeah, when you don't have the sun and everything, then your body is like, oh, is it sleep time right now? And then your your body makes less. You know, your start body starts making like your brain starts making like the melatonin. Yeah. So it starts putting you to sleep at all kinds of times in the day, and then you're tired, and then you're not. Then you're awake at night because you were tired in the day, but then you're tired again, and you're never right. And I think a lot of people are noticing this because of the corona stuff, but mm. I don't know, man. But, yeah, luckily – but it was so nice out, so I was out last couple of days all day, but it I didn't drink enough water because I wasn't used to it. I forgot. Oh, yeah, like <laughs> you better drink a lot of water in the sun <laughs> yeah, than sitting in a yeah, basement yeah, all year. That's... Yeah, that, that, that's something very essential as well for everybody. Just A lot of people just become really dehydrated and they don't care about water. Just drink, I don't know, a shit ton of sodas and shit. Oh, and yeah. Yeah, that's just one of, part of the main issue. So the main issue and, or the main target you're talking about the show is just are the new day, the biggest tech team or the greatest tech team ever. Right. Well, my answer would be fuck no. They are not. <laughs> they are not. Right. Maybe. The only maybe the only thing I'll give them credit for is their, their their longevity. Like they stayed for like I think seven eight years now. Yeah, it's, been, it's been a long long time, which I would give them credit for. But the problem is, it's like this tag team was made. Let's let's be honest. Um, what, what what's the name of that short guy? What's his name? Who did the who fucked Paige's pussy? Him and oh, Brad yeah. Maddox. Oh, Xavier. I don't, I don't Xavier Woods. Yeah, but give Xavier Woods. That's the guy. First, this guy obviously has no wrestling ability whatsoever. Ooh. So he is literally like 
you got two guys who have great potential. Biggie can be the next big bad thing. And I heard you talking about it a lot. Like you would love to see Biggie go, go heel. Right, and that tag team literally fucked his potential. I'll be honest. Obviously, with the shit created from Vince McMahon and all that shit. And Kofi, I don't know. I would have rathered him to stay on his Jamaican gimmick. I'll be honest. Like I enjoyed him as a singular competitor way, way much more as this clown with these two. I don't know that weird hairstyle he had. Before. It's one of those things where, like, if you break them up, you're worried that they'll all fall off a little bit, and you have something so decent with the New Day that <laughs> they don't want to do that. But yeah, you know, I don't know. I, I think they're, you know, they're obviously the longevity of them is impressive and they've been good. But yeah, they're not one of the greatest. They're not the greatest of all time. I don't think they're A tier. I think they're B or C tier. And, uh, yeah, uh, you exactly. know, I, I give them a thumbs up, a thumbs up. But it, I think it's time for Big E to grab that mic and be the guy that he can be. And he should stab them in the back and go rogue and. And exactly. They should have did it a couple of way WrestleManias before when they lose the title. I don't agree with they... you on Xavier, though. I will say, Xavier Woods has a good wrestling, has had good wrestling matches. You know, he, he just really mm. doesn't display mm. them. In the New Day, he really doesn't do much at all. And yeah, maybe maybe I didn't see that. He was, maybe he was I neutered. Him. Yeah. He was pretty decent, and he's really just basic moves now. But... He is good on the mic. I, I love him on the mic. Like, I think him and Leo Rush are probably, like, they're really decent on the mic, but even though Leo Rush knows how to wrestle. He's a cruiserweight. And right. He he was pretty nice in two oh five, but like, I don't know. It's just the tag team that, that like the when, when we consider them the greatest, they you know that every tag team has unleashed the highest potential of their maximum skill. I think the new they did the absolute exact opposite. They actually, you know, ca- ca- uh, captured their potential. They could have been incredible on their own, in my opinion. Yeah, all, all together, all these guys could have been successful on their own. In inter, in like the Intercontinental Championships, yeah, mid card in, in the mid card, yeah. and then yeah. but maybe through that they they would get somebody would would break through. I don't think. And, and by the way, Kofi kind of did so a little bit, but um, I don't think Kofi. What else we got? Oh, uh, that was situation. Bubbly. That's it. A donation. That's it. I'm bubbly. Sorry. Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. Let's see if you can hear this. What do you call a person from Ireland? An irony. Fuck Chase Bank. They called police on me cause I was trying to draw five thousand dollars out of my account. Oh my God, AJ Adams. Jesus. Oh, AJ Adams does drop these really nasty comments. I haven't seen him, but yeah, it was. I'll uh, <laughs> it's not as bad, but yeah, he's usually got some kind of racist comment. Uh, AJ Adams, thanks for the three dollars. We love yeah. you, man. You psycho. I think the most, the most two horrible I probably hear is AJ Adams and maybe Cunt Angle. It's probably the two most horrible comments I hear on yeah on the donations from time to time. Ra- racist asshole was pretty bad at one point. Yeah, and, and yeah, he, well, you get you get from the title, you know, it's like oh, you get it from the cover. Like, like he would have called he would have called you a towel headed asshole, like or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> and, Even though we don't wear towel head back home, but no, yeah, but probably you don't. But yeah, but you know, a lot of Americans we don't know shit. Like well, everybody's ignorant over here. They just call oh, everybody fuck a that Arab piece of shit bastard terrorist. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I'll, I'll probably be in that category. No matter oh, what, you'll no. just you'll just get called something. I wondered if people. I was like, do pe- maybe people make fun of Americans wearing baseball caps, like you stupid baseball hat idiots. Oh, like, we we basically make fun of Americans as they are these big Jews, dub guys who play American football all the time. Right, and they're dumb and they just want fuck fuck girls, and that's it. That, that is a stereotype. That's that's literally what my wife makes fun of football players <laughs> for. <laughs> like I, I'll be like, hey, you want to watch football? And hey, she's dude, like, I want to go to the damn party and fuck all these pussies and all, yeah. all that shit. You know, I'm a big dumb a idiot. Date. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Like, it was, yeah. I would like say, the, like the gender Mahal song we, you did before, <laughs> which I, is fucking hilarious. It's either that or like fat or they're fat McDonald's eating idiot yeah. cowboys. Yeah, or something. playing playing Call of Duty, drinking Mountain Dews, and eating Doritos with yeah. the whole. School, quick scoop shit. Little, <laughs> Call little, of Duty crap. Little white kids <laughs> saying the N-word. Um, yeah, but no, dude, that's funny. I always wondered that. Oh, uh, Dave Rose wanted to know, speaking of that, um, something yeah. about a coup in Qatar or something like that. Do you know about that? Well, I don't know why he asked about that. About what in Qatar? Some kind of coup or something going on over there? Oh, basically what's, what's going on there, like Qatar as a, a country. A coup they... d'etat in, to, in Qatar. Oh my God. <laughs> they have apparently they have a lot of like I don't know some political issues with Saudi Arabia and the UAE, which is the Emirates and shit like this. And apparently they're right. they're not on talking terms. Oh. I don't know some and pr- basically like the borders are closed. So they like if you live in Qatar, you before you could have drove a car and go to Saudi Arabia. Yeah, like I lived I lived there for a few years. Right, like where but, where Awani um, lives in uh, 
Uh, right you, now, I live in the UK. I, I moved Abu. to Egypt way before, and then I moved yeah. to the UK for studies. I have friends. Much. I have friends. We have friends of the show who are in uh, Egypt and Abu Dhabi. So they tell me what it's like when they have gone to Saudi Arabia. No, it's horrible. Oh, it's <laughs> talk, talking about medieval place. In, 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 in Egypt, I would be uh, abducted and cut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, not 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 all Egypt, but we've said this before. I'll tell you what. Egypt you, you isn't bad. You wouldn't be abducted. You wouldn't be abducted unless you got the money. You got the cash, my friend. You'll be good. Uh, other than that, oh, you're fucked. <laughs> then you're in trouble. Yeah, Egypt. Yeah, it, Egypt it, used to be safer. It's it's definitely a little crazier. It used to be. It's way worse right now because right now it's pretty much ruled by the army. Look. Egypt, mm. since 1952 until now, they're ruled by the big fucking our army people in, in charge, and they are in control of everything, in media and everything. So it's like it's like Nazi Germany in a way, but you get a little bit of freedom down there. So you it's, know what I mean? It's like a yeah, okay. So it's it's not quite no, it's obviously not quite Nazi Germany, but it's like a very it's of course com- it's communist. It's very close. Yeah, not not communist. Like we still get. I don't know music. We have rock bands. We we have universities. We have life. Okay. We have fashion. So it's TV Detroit. Shows. It's, it's, so it's it's Detroit. Yeah, in a in a way, <laughs> it's Detroit. <laughs> in a way, like you might go missing, but also you might be fine. It... Yeah, exactly, exactly. Is the problem is if you like, it's not like the U.S. where you got SJWs and you got Republicans and yeah. you got fucking, you know, you got all all the lot down there. In Egypt, you have to either suck to the, suck up to the system or you go to jail. You know what I mean? Wow. So okay. yeah, that's it, pretty much. Well, that sounds like that. See, that sounds like communism to me a bit. Like in a like, way, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Like go it along is. with what we're saying, or we're gonna put you in jail, asshole. But yeah. you might you'd be all right. But there's also then some bad areas too, and then there's some good. Exactly. Yeah, it's not like North Korea where you do yeah. not get complete connection so, to the outside world. To me, world. what you're describing sounds like if if Detroit went full communism in Detroit. That's what it <laughs> yeah, sounds like. Yeah, you got like. Stalin on their ass and shit. Yeah, that yeah you put Stalin or, or somebody like that in charge of Detroit. And, oh, God. Okay. That's Jesus what it, Christ, I can imagine this happening. Ma- Muhammad, <laughs> Muhammad um, Abdel Wahab is fucking losing it in the chat. Look at that. Uh, what's up, <laughs> Muhammad? Uh, he's out there. Uh, no, but he's... <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> no, but yeah, man, it's yeah. it's it's so crazy, man. Um, it's wild everywhere, and you, yeah. what you're seeing in America is a lot of people in America they don't like. Um, a lot of us do, and it's it's a tight rope to walk because, like, you know, I'm I'm a Star Trek guy. I'm a I'm a yeah, same I'm a, exactly. I'm a Star Trek. I'm a Star Trek guy more than I hate Star Wars. I'm yeah. I'm not. I don't hate it, but it's like I. I always loved old Star Trek until they fucked it up with this new bullshit. I oh, hated God. the last season. I fucking hate it. White people Everything are very guilty, man. They're so guilty right now that they're breaking their own their own creations that are fun to watch. <laughs> like you didn't. No, it's not white people. It's the SJW. The SJW S- white people. JW. I'm just That's saying. Exactly I'm just trying to piss Rose off. The Last of Us. I'm just trying to piss Dave Rose. Oh, oh. Of the game. Oh, dude, I've no, I know, I've read the leaks for The Last of Us. My head almost and exploded. I wanted to. I'm not gonna say any spoilers, guys, so I don't want to ruin it for you. But yeah. every single SJW and every single little thing in this game, which was like, look, I don't mind the SJW. If you want to be gay, if you want to be transgender, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Go ahead, crack on. I don't yeah. care. It's just I hate the fact that you ruined such a a masterpiece. It has its own color. It has its own neat. It has its own. I don't know theme. Do not. Add up some bullshit SJW stuff in a post-apocalyptic world. Who gives a shit about SJW stuff when you don't care about surviving and finding food? Yeah. And you're surrounded by fucking clickers and zombies <laughs> and shit. Who gives a shit about a fucking SJW? Oh. Or like there's a cult in the game where apparently they hate gay people. It's like, these cults, are, you, are they going to care about this? Or are you gonna, they're going to be more careful about surviving? It's just retarded. Yeah, what can you, you can tell when, when stuff is naturally there. Like, like, let me put it to you this way: in in the orig- yeah. in the original Star Trek, right? Mm-hmm. There really wasn't a lot of Middle Eastern influence, right? En- enough because it was the future. But we had we had the we had a Russian, you know, we had a Japanese, we had a few other guys, and they're mixing in some guys. In in, in the J J Abrams Star Trek, uh, mm-hmm. the first movie, I think yeah. at the beginning there's a bald captain, and I think he's Middle Eastern. I don't know what exactly. Yeah, I think so. I'm not too sure. Yeah, but he looks like that, I but I don't know where he's from. When I see that guy. I don't think. Oh my God, the SJWs! They put him in here. I thought, no, that's that seems like an awesome captain. He's like going and he's going to beam over and sacrifice himself. And it seemed yeah. like it was supposed to be there. And it also made me think, oh, that's that's the that's like one of the first, uh, you know, um, sort of Middle Eastern uh, 
uh, rep- uh, captains we've ever seen. And, 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 and you think about that, but you don't really think about that. You're just watching the movie and you're like, whatever, I don't care. But thinking about that now, I'm like, oh, yeah, but we didn't really care. But nowadays, what they would do is they would like make it known and like shove it in your face, and exactly and, and, that like, shove it up what? your throat agenda. Like you're gonna what suck it up, you son of a bitch. No yeah. matter what, either you like it or not, it is what it is. It's the new society. It's the new rules. Suck it up. You don't get a say, which I hate. But like you know, fans are gonna be pissed about it. Why do it? Yeah, why why not? It's like, dude, just do the story. If if you think about only the story and the reason why you're telling the story. And then mm-hmm. the secondary thing is who we're going to cast. And then you think to yourself, well, this guy's supposed to be this way. He can be from here. He can be from there. But what, instead of what they do is what they do is they go, well, we have to have uh, this black female or Asian female this or that thing. Mm-hmm. And or we're going to have a gay situation. We're going to have a trans. Like, and, and, and they do that first instead of like last. Exactly. Like, keep that last. Exactly. That's what I mean. Like there's much more important stuff in the story that needs addressing. But no, you focus on. The minority is an oldest bullshit. Look, I, I'm not a racist person, first of all. I, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking Arab, all right? So the difference is, like, uh, the the um, the Prince of Bel-Air. I want him to stay black, like just like you said. I want fucking Will Smith. I don't want some white Asian guy yeah. to do the new one. I don't want this shit. Why? Because it's authentic for the way it was. It was made up for the way it was. I don't want a new version of it. It's going to be a female. I don't want a new version. It's going to be a female, just so you know. <laughs> it's gonna be pr- it's gonna be princess. Fuck me. It's gonna be princess Fuck. of Bel Air, and I'm not even kidding. I'm not joking like, with you. Just ju- just like the new James Bond. Oh, he- all right. This one I don't mind it much, maybe because like I don't know. It it you can kind of relate to it. Like the new James Bond is a new b- black female. All right. What can you say? But this is not double double seven. You know what I mean? Well, what you have to watch out for in the new James Bond. And here's what you got to be worried about. What they really like to do. And, and mm-hmm. what, they, what they really like, and, and by the way, I'm not trying to say, oh, woe is the white people, because in the 90s, they used to just shit on the black people and make them die. Oh, every every yeah. movie they oh, died. Like, you know, <laughs> Way you'd, worse. You'd be a terrorist than everything you ever did. Like, even Back to the yeah. Future. Remember Back to the Future? I stole it from some yeah, terrorists. Yeah. Oh, la, 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 la. Like, so, yeah. like, we've, 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 <laughs> yeah, we've, know, we've stereotyped people forever. Yeah. Not, but whatever. People understand that it's a joke. People stereotype Americans as a big, fat cowboy. That's funny to me. Like, I think that's hilarious. It's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, um, yeah, here's the actor, by the way. It's um, Farhan uh, Tahir here or something so yeah oh, he was from star, star trek or yeah, so the the first star trek movie from jj abrams oh. the remakes yeah um he was the All captain right. at the beginning of the show he was yeah, great. yeah I, I know what the character is i just don't know the actor i, I never thought yeah. about it i never but but i you know what i mean so that's an example of doing yeah, it right that's doing it yeah. right i uh, okay nobody no one but like you know what you got to look out for in the new james bond is that remember the mm. pat the pattern with everything we love is um, older, like male character, especially if they're white, male character, especially if they're white, yeah. failed somehow. He went into hiding or he failed. And then later on, a woman is going to show him how he really should have done it. Mm-hmm. That's what yeah. you have, that's what you have to look out for. And in fact, they even went, remember they went SJW and they went, well, not SJW, but you know, they, they hired these two guys. Yeah. Uh, what were their names uh, for Finn and Poe Dameron? But I liked <laughs> I liked Finn and Poe Dameron. So like yeah, when I saw him, yeah, exactly. But and then you're like, oh, oh man, like I can't wait to see what Finn and Poe Dameron do. I'm not. I wasn't even thinking like, oh, there's an agenda. But I, I thought, okay, they're trying to, you know, they're trying to mix it up. They're trying to like add some, you know, diversity into Star Wars. That that totally makes sense to me. I'm down with that. But then mm-hmm. they ruin these guys' characters in the second Star Wars movie. And they yeah. made because they had to make the Asian lady like be like, no, love is the way to go, idiots. <laughs> like we're gonna do this, and they like they like trumped their own agenda, their own agenda SJW it, yeah. agenda. They trumped it to put these uh, characters over. The purple-haired lady was smarter than Poe Dameron. Um, you know, the Asian mm-hmm. girl was better than Finn. And they literally took a Middle Eastern and a black guy and they pushed him aside because female was, we, we see your Middle Eastern or um, black guy and we raise you a uh, yeah. Asian woman. You know, it was just crazy. And it was like you ruined the characters to double up on SJW shit when I wanted to see these two guys evolve as characters and grow. And instead, they never really grew. They, they ended up in a good position and whatever, but they barely grew from what we knew from the beginning, which is bullshit. They should have been awesome characters. Um, but anyway, I've lost my mind, Omar. Yeah, I totally get your point. I absolutely understand it. It's fucking mental. And it, it was also like it was also done in so many games. And I'm, I, my whole fear is just they're going to just do it in every single series. Well, probably is going to happen. And 
I don't know, in, in fucking superheroes movies, we're going to fight in the Marvel, maybe right. DC, maybe they're going to start to create a new universe for this shit. Look, I don't mind them creating this, but do not tarnish the old gold we love, you know, the old well, shit we love. You know what's worse about this, too? Here's the other thing I want to mention to bring this up. Yeah. What, what you've done now is, now you've made, you've made, the like, so the bad, like, the other side of the white people, you know, like, that are, like, you know what I'm saying? So now you've made some white people angry about this. So now every time, even if you honestly cast somebody who happens to be diverse or whatever, and it's not on purpose, it's not an agenda, it's just regular, like, hey, we decided to cast a black guy, decided to cast a Middle Eastern guy, whatever, and what you're doing now is now those people flip out over that. So like even if even if it is a good casting and it wasn't a big a deal. Now once the movie once the movie comes out, the proof is in the pudding and people will realize that, oh, okay, that's not really that that's fine. But you're gonna get all these people now just jumping the gun now and you've set us back. They they've actually set us all back uh with all this stuff and yeah, dude, in, a, in yeah. I don't know, dude, it's crazy. They it's need- like nowadays everybody just judge for the look. I'll, I'll tell you something. Look, I I'm an Arab, yeah, but look, I have green eyes and I have pink nipples. Does this mean mm. I'm fucking Caucasian? No, <laughs> no, oh, it yeah. doesn't. No, you're half. Just, you're like a mix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in a way. <laughs> well, my my grandparents were from Turkey, so in a way, it makes it like I don't know, like it, it's like a different mix of everything. So that doesn't mean that I don't know. People just will judge me. Oh, you look Caucasian. Oh, you're good. No, well, it doesn't mean that. It well, doesn't mean that at all. No, yeah, yeah the, I mean Middle Eastern can va- vary in shades of we all do, yeah, but um, it's different. It's like like any other culture. You'll find a very dark skinned. You'll mm-hmm. find a very light skinned. You'll find a broken lion who's a dark chocolate in the community. Oh yeah, <laughs> but when you said I gotta be honest though, when you just said pink nipples, like I oh. I think I want to leave Leah for you. <laughs> Um, that pink nipples comment was amazing. The be- honest, look, man, if I have any gay directions in YouTube, man, let's go. Let's fucking do let's it. Let's do it. Well, let's I'm hump each other. What, 34, 35? Yeah, I'm Fuck 35. It. Let's go. I mean, let's go. Did you let's watch, do it, baby. did you watch Picard? Uh, no, actually I did not. Okay. I don't want to say anything then, but, um, cause there's like, dude, like I'm a big next generation fan, so I don't know if you like <laughs> next gen, but. Mm. Um, I love any millennium. I'm a GZ, GZ baby. So let's go. But did, did you watch TNG though, or did you watch something else, or didn't watch? No, it? no, it's just I don't know. I, I read some shit about generations. That's it. I'm I'm not a huge like I don't know like uh, pop culture shit. I watch some stuff and that's it. Really. Okay, yeah, I didn't a, know. Okay, a gamer so... nerd and a wrestling fan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. like so I was gonna say with Star Trek, because there's like two things that are really cool about the new Picard, but then everything else is garbage and so bad. Oh, I didn't watch. Oh, that that was that was dog shit. I didn't watch the new one. No, I just I just somebody told me we watched the first episode and I was like, oh fuck this. I thought <laughs> this the first one. Like... Yeah, the first episode I kind of liked, and then I kind of liked, and I was getting all like, wow, this is really good. And then it, it got worse and worse as it went on, like really bad. And then there's one moment in the last episode that I really liked. Um, but it was only a scene. It was only because somebody else and and uh, I don't want to mention it for the people that didn't see it. But anyway, whatever. But it was weird. And uh, Omar, I'll let you go, bro. Thanks for the call. And and that was awesome. Cool, man. I'll call you up later, man. Thanks, man. Peace. Awesome. Thank yeah. you. You too, man. Bye. Bye, man. Uh, producer Omar of the Joe Cronin show, and I believe still in the twenty five dollar above tier. So thanks to Omar for that. And uh, interesting convo, man. Interesting uh, talk there. How they manipulate all of us against each other. My point was going to say that, you know, there's a part of me that likes the globalization of things. Like, I, I like the idea of us all working together as the world. You know what I mean? But I, but I don't like the idea of us, like, all doing everything for the world and hurting our own country. When there's a lot of other people who would rather be completely cut off from the world and get rid of all globalization. Um, and I think a lot of the people in charge of globalization right now are so evil. And that sucks because I like globalization. I want us to all be all, all one world together. But the people that want the one world together are evil. And they are they don't want one world together so that we all support each other. They want one world together so they can control the shit out of all of us. So that sucks because I want us all to work like to be so together. We're so connected now more than ever all across the entire planet. None of us want... We all love each other, I think. But like there's the... These people are, are hijacking that love and that one that one world connection we could all have, and they're using it against us and ruining it. And they are being called globalists, and that globalist is a bad thing now because of that. When globalism should have been good in a way, instead it's bad because the people in charge of it are terrible and they're they're ruining us. So, you know, it's too bad that. Um, 
I don't know that we aren't that that's being perceived that way because of them. Unknown caller, hello. I beat the shit out of you, and I make you suck it like the bitch that you are because you have a vagina. <laughs> oh man, it sounds like Sean's view. Uh, sounds like Sean's view. He does have a vagina. He does have a uh, vagina. Joshua Hampton going at Dave Rose hard in the chat. Not sure what that's about, but uh, it's about something. What else we got? Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it's it. AJ that's Adams it. again. Bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. <laughs> so, Joe, you got a sand nizzle on your show instead of a real nizzle like me. So, death to Al Shabab to cocksucker. Oh, my God. AJ Adams. There it is. AJ, what's up, man? No, you can be on the show, AJ. You can, you can always be on the show, AJ. I love you. I love you, man. Yeah, we got the real sand N word on. Notice how none of us are scared of it, too. Notice how, like, most of the people, like, from other countries and from other places and other races, like, nobody cares. It's only, like, certain SJWs in America. Oh, my God, sand and word. Oh, my got? God. Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's oh. it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Joe, I need some advice for my baseball channel. Yes. My views have been down lately because people aren't searching for baseball news, but I'm noticing baseball card openings and the MLB The Show game are up on Google Trends. You think I should try those? Um, yeah, that might be a good idea, Robbie Hyde. Uh, that might be a good idea, man. Uh, maybe discussing value of cards, some of the best cards ever, some of the most expensive cards on eBay. That'd be a good video, right? Like the top, the most expensive baseball cards on eBay right now. And then there's the cards, and, and then you, you don't even need to buy the cards. Just go on eBay and start talking about the cards you see. Check out this Jackie fucking Bradley uh, Jr. card that was signed. It's the highest rated whatever. And then going back two years ago, here's a hoax Jose Canseco one. Here's what makes it so good and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, dude, you should totally do that um, be, to keep things going. I'm the same way with wrestling. Wrestling's down a bit, um, you know, but at least it's still kind of going on, so there's something to talk about. But, yeah, baseball is just dead. So, yeah, you need to um, – yeah, I think you need to get on that. I think maybe make uh, – you you might want to make a little more content than you used to, like a couple of shorter videos. Um, maybe talk about stats and stuff like that too of previous years and we're I don't know, just whatever. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. I'll look at your channel again though. You should message me. I've been I watched some of your videos recently. You're really good. Uh, with I think you a lot of people can like you. They just got to find you. Um, start getting get into a couple baseball groups on Facebook by the way and drop maybe some if you're allowed to drop some of your videos there and be like yo what do you guys think about this um whatever and drop your video and on a couple of different places and see if you can uh, do that and if you're in a specific team and you're talking about like a specific team's player's card make that video and then talk about whatever and then go into that team's group on Facebook and and drop it in there if the terms of the Facebook group allow you to do that. Uh, thank you, Robbie Hyde. And, uh, yeah, so far I think you're doing pretty good, but I have to relook at your channel, dude. Uh, I'll take a look at it. 309, hello. What is good, Joe Cronin? What's going on, man? What is going on, man? How are you? Doing good, man. It's yours the dawn once again. And, man, for some reason I got a weird issue with your chat. Whenever I post anything, yeah, um, nothing ever pops up for my, uh, for my, um, from my channel. Did you get blocked? And um and so the huh? Did you get blocked? No. I mean there's sometimes where it works and then there's sometimes where it does work because I go on another channel that I had to make to see if my shit pops up. And then for my other channel, yeah, obviously it pops up and for the for for my other channel it never pops up. And it what? pops up every now and then when I come on, and there's no reason why I should be blocked. I don't come on the chat and start shit you, or start but you, trolling but, you. But you may have been, stuff. but you might have been blocked by accident because we've had we've had a lot of times where, like trolls will start spamming, and then if you type something, somebody might have clicked on your name by accident and blocked you. So, uh, uh, you oh, know, okay. send me okay. your send me your YouTube channel, like your link. I need the link, not your name, but your link. Like, go to your main page on your channel, like. View your view your YouTube channel like it's a channel, and click the link or your your link to your channel, and email yeah. email me the link to your channel, uh, Joe Cronin Show at Yahoo dot com, and I can go All and right. look and see if uh, I bet you I bet you're blocked by accident. Okay, 
Well, um, I'll, um, I don't know if you want to talk about the virus or anything, but if you yeah. don't, then obviously no, I'll talk you, about it. But, yeah, whatever you want to talk about. Yeah, whatever. All right. Well, did you hear about how California right now people are getting out and also protesting in Cali right now? I've heard a little bit about it, but I, not today. Only the ones from the other day where people started getting upset. I think uh, one place was, was it Oakland, uh, maybe, that was getting pissed or Oakland or somewhere like that. What do you think about the whole situation? Because honestly, I mean, I don't know if the media is really, really, I think the media is really hyping the virus. I mean, I know it's real and I know it's true and I know people are dying. But I mean, when they when I heard that they were lumping people who would die from a car crash and then, you know, add them on to the coronavirus and stuff like that, I'm really starting to think the media is starting to try to scare people. I, I, I am I'm I'm worried a little bit that that's going on and that there's a little bit of weirdness here. Something is up. I, I'm very cautious about what's going on. But um, from a scientific point of view, um, you know, this is a super contagious thing. And there's no reason not for everybody to wear a mask. You know, when you go out, if everybody wears a mask, you won't projectile this stuff as much as you did before. It's, it's the, the example that's out there is, you know, two naked guys pissing. They piss all yeah, over yeah. each other. You know, the one for the people that haven't heard it, one guy's in clothes, one guy's naked. He's going to piss on you. It's going to get all over you. However, if both guys are wearing clothes and they piss their pants, none of the piss will get on each other. So from a scientific point of view, yeah, the masks don't really help unless everybody's wearing them. If everybody wears the mask, it does help a little bit. So listen, whatever. Like, let people out again if you can soon. But, you know, we'll all wear masks. Honest, honest, honestly, from what, um, honestly, me, um, from my personal view, I mean, I've been, I've been going out almost every day, even since the coronavirus has started. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I have several people that live in my home. I'm not the only person that lives there. I have about six people living in my house. Not yeah. one of us has caught it. And apparently our county is like, a is like the county that has like some of the most coronavirus, which is only 300 people out of like thousands and thousands of people that live here. And I've, I haven't had any symptoms. Nobody in my family had a system. My mom herself goes out all the time. Like you say, your mom goes out all the time. She hasn't caught. Well, I don't know if she's caught it. Maybe she. But what you? But addict. but here's what you got to remember. Remember this. This is so important. You got to remember this. Like forty percent of the people in the entire country, and I'm talking about forty percent probably, will never show signs of it. They they are asymptomatic. They will pass it on, but they will never get it or show signs of it. And then another like thirty percent will will get minorly sick, and then. Another 30% will get really sick, and then some of those people will go critical, severe, and die. So there, there's, you got to remember, it's, it's, a, it's when, when you're isolated and you're not seeing people getting sick, you're like, what's the big deal? And so many people are going to have it that don't even know they have it, and they're going to already have antibodies. So you're going to feel like, fuck this, I'm impervious, this, something's wrong here, they're overselling this, I don't believe them. Um, until somebody you know dies or is sick or until you're in the hospital, like, choking, you know, you're not going to believe I, it. But I personally don't have... I mean, I'm not saying it's not serious. Like, I'm not saying that at all, but... No, no, you're right. Stay vigilant. And, and, and they're going to use this to make you submit. They're going to use this to beat you down, make you submit, follow some kind of new bullshit rules. They're going to fuck like with all of us. Act. Oh, yeah, just like the Patriot Act, just like 9-11, just like every other thing. So, no, you are right. Everybody needs to stay vigilant and be very aware and do not submit. Do not become completely submissive. Um, so, so don't do what the government would love to do and as they beat you down to make you do what they want. But wearing a mask, you know, as long as... It doesn't as, hurt, yeah. Yeah, I mean, hurt. and listen, just, just... But also don't be a fool and remember that science is real, this shit's real, but, you know, also, also don't trust the government either. <laughs> you know what I mean? What, like, do you think, what do you think about the new... Um, the new um, the new Hornet that's been released in Washington D.C. Um, it's just more more problems for us. I mean, but you know the, what? The, the the murderous Hornet or the murder Hornet or whatever it's called. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. It's crazy coming from China as well. But uh, we we've got European Hornets here. As if you watched me last year, you remember me showing the Hornet that was here. Um, people remember it's a giant thing called the European Hornet. They never had them in yeah. my area ever ever. This thing is gigantic. I thought, but it's not as big as this murder hornet, 
But even here, like, dude, like, the, the, the guys from the Terminex people and all the whatever, they're like, dude, we've never seen these things before. And now they're here, the European Hornet. Look it up. It's like three times the size of a yellow jacket. It's nuts. But now the fucking murder hornets. So I don't know what's going on. How, do, you, do you know how they even traveled over here? I thought the borders were closed. Like, I thought people weren't allowed to travel over here from China and stuff like that. I'm not sure how they got here, but it could have been somebody. They could have. They probably been here a while. They probably been here. Whether they got here on their own, they got here in packaging, food, uh, a boat. They were put here on purpose. The government did it. The Asia did it. China did it. We don't know. But it's weird, dude. People not being around. The, we got the locust swarms that are coming. The murder bees. Um, it could just be more bullshit by the media trying to mess with us, trying to scare people more. Like, how can we scare them again? You know, I'm not really sure where they came from. But um, I know that they're he- I, apparently that these murder hornets are here, and I don't know exactly why or how they got in. But I know that they're trying to contain them now. Yeah. Well, um, uh, another conversation I want to bring up was obviously the Kofi Kingston. I mean, not the Kofi Kingston, the New Day. Yeah. No, they are not the best. They they are so fucking corny. They're literally, I feel like they, they were just meant to attract the younger crowd, the younger kids, the PG era type. I thought everything they did was corny. From the bootios, that shit was not funny. Yeah. The fucking pancake throwing, that shit was not funny. I don't know. And like you said, Biggie, I felt like if he was on his own, he definitely okay. could have been a bigger threat. If he was on his own and turn healed instead of being some clown on this faction that, I mean, there are so many factions that I think are better than them, like DX, obviously, NWO. I thought Evolution was better than them. The yeah. Heart Foundation, the Ministry. Like, there's just so many factions that are a lot better than them. I really don't think they're far. They're, they're not even. They're not even top ten of me. I feel like. Yeah, I, 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 I you might be right. I, I definitely think they're they're top twenty, but they might be like thirteenth or fourteenth. They, they're they're great, and their longevity is awesome. But you know, what they have going against them is that they're such a cartoon act that it's, you know, it's more of a kids thing. Um, but I do give them credit for the longevity that they've been decent in that way. Uh, and by the way, I thank you for the call, man. Great call. I uh, appreciate that. What's up, Finn? Why you got no shirt on? Where's your shirt? Come here. You want a hug? Come here. You got to walk across the cement. Go ahead. It's okay. You want a hug? Why do you have... Wait, where's your shirt, dude? Is it that hot out right now? Why do you have no shirt on? Where's your shirt, brother? You got the beach body going? You got some super surfer hair. You're so pale the sun is ref- the light is reflecting off your face. Yeah. Da, da, da. Say hey, what's up? Yeah. You're a good boy. We're in the game. We're in the game. You know, we're in the screen cuz I have a green screen going right now. We're in the game, Daddy. We're not in the game. It's a it's a it's a video. It's a video. <laughs> You got all the Irish in the Viking and Irish genes from, from us here. You got all the Scandinavian and Irish in you. Yeah. All right, bro. Go see mommy. I'll be right up in a minute, okay? Upstairs you can. I'll be up in a minute. It's Brenna's turn. It's Brenna's turn? All right. Well, I'll come up and we'll switch turns again. Whoa. All right. I'll be right up. Give me five. A two-player game? Yeah, I'll come up and help you put a two-player game on. Go tell mommy. I'll be up in a minute. I hear her. Where are you going? Hey, not not over there. It's dangerous. All right, good boy. I'll be up in a minute. All right. I think I'm going to end in a minute because it sounds like, uh, sounds like the kids came in, but Leah's still outside raking or something. She's uh, She took over doing the yard work while I uh, tagged in to do uh, YouTube. Um, what up, chat? Um, how's everybody doing? Uh, and yeah, probably at some point later, I, I may be live with Warzone before Raw, or I may be gaming in a little bit. Um, so that that may be happening in a little bit, or on my gaming channels on Twitch and on my gaming channel, Evil Spectrum 3. Um, you guys can subscribe to all my YouTube channels here on Joe Cronin Show, Corrupted Nation, Shame on News, and Evil Spectrum 3. They're all listed down below. Those are all my YouTube channels. Sub to all of them. That will help you guys uh, get to me with all my other videos and things like that. Um, also, um, Twitch is twitch.tv slash Joe Cronin. 
JCS on Twitch. And uh, Aaron Reed, thank you for subbing, man. Poor Aaron Reed, a damn beer in the chat. Uh, thanks for subbing, man. Uh, thanks to everybody who donated uh, during this stream. Um, and that's that's about it, man. I hope that you guys subbed all those channels. Check me out everywhere. My new uh, Twitter account is at JCS Commentary on Twitter. Uh, Instagram.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Facebook.com slash Joe Cronin Show. All that shit's down below in the description box. you got to expand the description box. So expand it. Find me everywhere all over the place and sub everything and all that kind of crap. And I'm going to go see what's up with the kids right now. And we got Raw tonight. I'll be live after Raw for the Raw review. You won't probably may not get an alert tonight because I've already gone live for this. So just remember, as soon as Raw is over, I'll be live with the Raw review. Um, thanks to Hector Gutierrez, Omar, Muhammad, uh, even Dave Rose for his comments, and everybody else who's a member in the chat. Uh, Arknolia Strokelbean probably could have recorded our thing today if I had not gone live right now. Um, and that's about it. Real quick, I'm going to take another phone call. Real, real quick. A lot of calls came in that I missed. I will take more calls tonight. Uh, but real quick, y'all, let me get one more in. Uh, 734, hello. Hey, it's Travis TLC. What's up, Joe? Oh, shit. Mr. China, what's up? That's right. Mr. China, that's me. I'm calling you Mr. China, man, because uh, you poor guy. you got to defend your fucking communist friends every two seconds over there. I'm sorry. How are you? I know. I know. It's terrible defending these these people. Well, I <laughs> well no, the wanna, people of China, wanna... are, the people of China are great. Yes, they are. I agree with that. The people are but very. I can... I, every time I run into a Chinese person, they're super super cool. Their government's questionable, but they're su just like ours. They're super cool. Yeah, it's definitely the government. But I can shed some light on this uh, this murder hornet uh, deal. All right. Okay. Let's hear it. Well, okay. So these quote unquote murder hornets, as people call them, they were they're formerly known as Japanese hornet, mm -hmm. um, originate and are native to Japan, specifically Hokkaido, Japan. Okay. Um, but they're all they're all over East East Asia, which is not just China. Right. So they don't um, come they, from they China. Are, they come from no. They do not come from China. They are right. not native to China, and they don't come from China. They are all over Eastern Asia, even into Russia. They're in Cambodia, Thailand, Laos, uh, Taiwan. All over eastern China. Why are they in America now? And well, the first discovery of them in North America was in September of 2019 in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, which just happens to border Washington. Right. Um, so it came it came into Canada first. Came into didn't Canada. Come, came into Canada first. Didn't come into America first. I love this propaganda. But, Go ahead. Good propaganda. Go ahead. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm joking, man. I'm sure Dave Rose is going to say that. Oh, Dave. Well, Dave already hates me, so it's fine. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, it, people think I'm defending China. I'm not defending China. I'm defending facts. People are just immediately are, are going straight to well, yeah. blaming China for these hornets. Like, what are well, we talking you, you have about? A lot of scared, we... You have a lot of scared, angry people in America now, so they're totally going after yeah uh yeah and i think this just shows the ignorance of people because these things don't even come from china this is yeah. just like in pearl harbor where japanese people were being rounded up into concentration camps along with other asian people who weren't even japanese are we rounding up are we rounding, are we rounding up chinese people no, it's not like that. Not well. This quite is to that this degree. is more like nine eleven to me, where where like you know we gave some shit to the Arabs in the country around that time. Yeah, they got it too, and they still get it. Arabs still get that type of stigma, uh, but it's just like like the ignorance involved. People yeah, but you know what though? To, the, no, I, to me, the stigma with the Arabs is just like everybody else. We make fun of white people for the white goofy shit white people do. We make fun of black people for different things. We make fun of Indian people for things. We make fun of now we ma we make fun of Arabs for things. We we use everyone's stereotypes and we make fun of them for everything. So I don't really think it's that different now. Now if you if you were showing me clips of people being beaten in the streets every week, uh, you know from you know from Arab countries, then I would be like, yeah, there's some problems. But you know right and, yeah. and, and you know and you know black gangs beat up white people because they're you know whatever white people you know go after black people you know it's the same old tribal stuff really that's i think always gone on but that's just my opinion but yeah obviously nobody should be doing real stuff to each other but making fun of each other's uh stuff 
be, I think is hilarious. <laughs> like, I don't know, like, as, as long yeah. as, it, as, long yeah, as no, it's, it's not, it's, totally good. Like, as long as it's not really to of... hurt somebody. I don't want to hurt, nobody should be hurt for real. But making fun of each other's stereotypes to me is hilarious. But that's, a, you know, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's, that's totally, that's separate, that's different, and that's fine. But it's, it's just like, how, it's just weird to me how people automatically jumped on this Hornet thing as, oh, it came from China, they're doing it. What else we got? Like, first oh, of all, these Hornets a little bit of the bubbly. That's 250 Want million bubbly? years. Are stuff. we going to blame oh, the cavemen oh, too? Like, a little bit of the bubbly. The Chinese what? people are like you reading these motherfuckers You piece of shit caller defending the bat-eating dog balls, swallowing Bruce Lee-looking bastards. Oh. Just ridiculous. It is ridiculous, but Travis TLC, uh, AJ Adams just said, you piece of shit calling in to defend the bat-eating dog balls swallowing Bruce Lee-looking bastards. See, that's the type of stuff you get. It's, I mean, this is a clear sign of, of xenophobia and stuff like that. Like, it's ridiculous. It's just yeah. ridiculous. So the, in China, they, can, in, wait a minute, so in China they don't eat bats and dog balls? Well, here's the thing, actually, about those bats, is, you know, once this whole problem starts... Well, wait, 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 China, wait, 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 wait a second. You goddamn... King of the Slanties. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, no, can you... Um, they call me the White Emperor. Do they That's not? They the, oh, you're the White Emperor. That is pretty funny. The White Devil. Um, do Answer the question. Do Chinese people over there eat dog balls and bats? I don't know about dog balls, but yes, those bats were certainly... Um, in certain areas. Now, this isn't mainstream. Yeah, like, there, I like, there, mo- is a, mo- there is a market. Yeah, there's, there's a lot a of, but, but most there's, people, most people in China look at that and they go, that's gross. Yeah, no. No, they don't want anything to do with it. It's really a black market. It's not really like official. Like, it's not, like, it's hard to explain. Like, there right. is a market for it, but it's very niche. Yeah, very like, small. yeah, exactly. Like, it's a, there's a, it, it's kind of like where, like, like, like you're like er, maybe if somebody thought everybody in America was in a gang, because like one percent of the population in America was involved maybe in gang activity or drug activity, and they were like, oh, in America it's all gangs, and you're like, well, no, it's not. It's that's just some idiots like or some groups out there. So it's like that you're saying in China where, you know, like less than five percent of the population eat this type of shit. I would say but, even less than that. But they do but it. The, but they do do it, and there is a market for it, and it is allowed to happen. So, you you know, I mean, i got to call that out, that we can't skip over that it doesn't happen like you said. Well, I don't, th- I don't I didn't say it doesn't happen. It did. Okay. But here's the thing is, is since, since this has started, the, uh, the Chinese government has banned and outlawed and removed the ability to even have these particular bats. Now, Indonesia didn't do anything like that and they continued to harvest and eat these bats during this whole thing but nobody's blaming indonesia for anything yeah but china's the one that stopped the bats from even being able to be harvested but indonesia didn't do that but you don't see anti-indonesia rhetoric being thrown around all over the place no when, instead when... you got indonesia is even worse to chinese people they won't let they won't if you even look chinese over there in indonesia <laughs> you're going to get hurt. They hate Chinese even more than Americans do. Well, I mean, why? So, wait a second. So, like, the Chinese people are going to Indonesia to get the bats? Is that what you're saying? No, no, they're not going there to get the bats, but they can access, they, they're able to access the same type of harvesting, you know. So, uh, what, so um, what, the the pictures of the of the markets of the bats that we're seeing in, are in China. The people eating the bats are yeah. in China. Yeah, what, yeah. Tell me again what are in China. what, what yeah, is but Indonesia? They're also in Indonesia, they're okay. also there too. But but yeah, the, it's not just in China. But has the has a virus ever spread in Indonesia? I'm I'm not really sure about viruses in Indonesia. So now sure now, so now you know why people blame China over Indonesia because even though Indonesia may be eating stupid shit too or doing ridiculous things that are. You know, the, the health organizations around the world should obviously say, don't do that. Um, you know, nothing's happened there yet, so that's why no one's blaming them. Yeah. And, and again, I'm not saying there shouldn't be repercussions or stuff like that. But, you know, again, it's you got to look at, at the, and I know you're not doing this, but you, you really got to look at the Chinese government and not the yeah, Chinese yeah. people. This I, is the thing. But people broad brush um, and just say Chinese so, do this. I'm gonna Chinese make. Do that. I'm gonna make this statement that um, I believe there are there are a lot of people in America that are being overly critical 
of China of Chinese people, and that you know you're obviously I think a little over defensive about it, and I think I I feel like I understand very well that most people in China are great. The people in China are just like here. There's some most people are good, but there's a lot of bad people too. But it's the government that makes dumb decisions. But right now, I think the Chinese government has made really you know the dumb some of the dumbest decisions in the world right now. But the people. You know, no, the people in China are pretty nice. I like the Chinese people, but their government is one of the most dangerous governments right now. And, and the American government at times has been one of the most militaristic and dangerous governments as well. So I get it. But I'm also I think that China right now, as far as what they do to the environment and their government and what they've covered up, it, it's kind of creepy. You know what, what they're what they're in hey, right hey, now. I'm not disagreeing with that. I, I, again, I don't defend China. I just defend facts. There are facts that people blatantly ignore yeah. about certain things. That's just, it gets frustrating. Yeah, and no, I, it, I think you're right. People are, uh, you know, but I, from what I've seen, though, most people that I know or that I talk to, they kind of, they feel the same way. Like, they're not mad at the Chinese people. Almost nobody I know is really mad at the Chinese people. But you're going to see, you're, you're going to see the memes and the jokes. You know, you're just going to, it's just going to happen. Just, just like yeah. you're going to see memes and jokes about Americans. You know, w when there's a shooting or something like that, you're going to be like, hey, look, I'm, I'm American. <laughs> like, it's just what everyone does. We stereotype each yeah. other, make fun of each other. So nobody really hates the Chinese people. Yeah, some people are being re mean and whatever. And some people are being ignorant and stupid. But most people, nobody really hates the Chinese people at all. But we are memeing the shit out of it, you know. Hey, go eat a bat, you, you, you know. And no, but nobody really actually hates them. It, it, they hate the, maybe yeah. you know what I'm saying. So like, I think that. But when you're, you know, you're a Chinese person that sees it, or you're somebody who's knows people from China, you do get a little defensive because you're like, oh no, like they're they're so much more like us than you know. Like why are you being? But it, but but really, you shouldn't worry that much about it because it's just jokes mostly and people being ridiculous and coping with things. Nobody really, most people really don't hate Chinese people at all. Like it's it's very few yeah. that are actually scumbags. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's it's usually people talking about something that they literally have no idea about. I mean, most people couldn't even name the president of China, let alone talk about the inner workings of the politics in China. I mean, these people don't even know what they're talking about. They don't understand how anything works there. Totally different government. Totally different way of running things. The five thousand year old culture. Yeah. I mean. You, and and like these 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 wet markets and these types of animals that they're able to have over there, they've been doing that for thousands of years. So for the government to just say, okay, stop doing that, it doesn't just work like that. You can't just automatically. And and the thing is, is those wet markets, most of them are a black market. So it doesn't matter what the government says, they're going to do it anyways. And that's the thing. It's, and it doesn't just happen in China. It happens in all those countries. Over yeah. There. Well, and and even, think, there's even wet markets in Russia. So do you think? Like, so so what you're saying leads me to believe that that maybe China did uh, leak these viruses out by accident or on purpose. Because if these have been around for years, then this should have happened a million other times over. Well, that, that why could be why, the case. why do mean, new diseases new diseases diseases are always coming out of China? New, it's always happening. Like, so people, so what you're going to see is, unfortunately, what you're going to see is if new diseases kept coming out of America for the last 20 years and they kept spreading around and hurting people, and then eventually there was one that took over the whole world like this one, people would want a piece of America's ass. And yeah, and th there's definitely quality standards that are much different here than, than over there. I agree with that. There's definitely issues that need to be addressed over there when it comes to that. Um, it's definitely a problem. There's no denying that. I mean, we got SARS, SARS in 2002, the Asian flu in 1956, H7N9, um, and now COVID-19 and other examples. I mean, so like from people's perspectives, I think what you're seeing is like the world is pissed. Like they're done. Like they're like, what the fuck? If you're not going to take care of this, like some, like p other people want to, it's like the other, so you're seeing people angry, like not the people, but the governments, you're seeing the governments of other countries being like, all right, like, like yeah. now you've affected us for real. Like now we're pissed. Like, so 
I think China knows that they've got to do something now. And um, yeah, I think I think you see that this isn't benefiting China whatsoever. So if they did this on purpose, as people like to say, which is even more ridiculous, this is not benefiting China. China's in a bad spot because of this shit. Okay, and their own people have died from this. And I can tell you right now with absolute confidence, China doesn't do anything that doesn't benefit them. And this does not benefit them at all. Do you think that they um, do you think they killed their own people? What's up with the million people missing their phones now or whatever? The phone lines that came down. People, that's like so weird. People change their phone service in China like you wouldn't even believe. I mean, that happens all the time. Do you think it could be sell, a cell phone that's market? That's nothing new. Have you ever heard of the cell phone markets up there where they like, you know, the companies buy hundreds of thousands of cell phones and activate them to create marketing programs and do all these crazy things? Do you think it was potentially a few of those were shut down that month and that could be why? Or do you think it's dead people it like could, people think? It, it, first of all, I mean, the Chinese people, if, if randomly millions of people were dying in China... Trust me, we would know about it, and the Chinese people would say something about it. The, right. the Chinese people wouldn't be hiding that type of thing. You would know. Yeah, because even even happened. your own, even the doctor and and several people already tried to expose the truth about what was going on with this. Um, I I think the only thing China's so far, the only thing I can tell that they did that was messed up is they waited six to seven days to tell everybody. While they kind of like made sure they rounded up all their medical equipment. Does that seem like it happened? It's, they're saying that that happened. Well, could be propaganda, I, I, but they're saying they're saying that that's what happened. I I would have a I would have to see some evidence for that. I would have a hard time believing that. Well, the evidence China's is, health the evidence China's health system is probably one of the best in the world and is very capable of handling this type of situation. The evidence because, is the PPP the PPE uh, from their storage warehouses was no longer available. The PPE from uh, transports and warehouses didn't leave like they normally do, so they ran out quicker than usual than they ever would have. Um, the other evidence is that um, the PPE that they were making was slowed down, so like every everyone's stock changed in PPE. Um, you know, several days, if not maybe now they're saying maybe a week or so before they announced that there really was some kind of issue. So there's, mm. they, they, and then there's more information. So, I mean, it makes sense to, to be like, hey, grab everything. We're going to need a lot of shit. Grab it all. So it's, it's not that they're being accused of hoarding all this shit or whatever, but, but the hoarding of the shit gives it away that they knew something was up and then didn't tell everybody the official news until seven days or so later. So that's the thing that people are also kind of questioning them about. Yeah. And, uh, hey, I'll say that if it comes out that the Chinese government did, in fact, actually cover it up, then the Chinese people need to revolt against their government because that's, that harms them. Are you they know? already, aren't that they, they the aren't you guys kind of, that's already kind of going on in a little ways out there, though, well, right? Well, that's in, that's in Hong Kong. That's a totally different situation. Right. Hong, Hong Kong wants to be independent. That's totally different. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's, and most, most mainland Chinese people think that's, like, the dumbest thing they could do, but... That's that's a totally separate situation. That's like Puerto Rico wanting to be independent or something. It sounds like to me almost like te like Texas or California wanting to leave the U.S. Because th we there's been talk before of Texas wanting to leave the U.S. and California wanting to leave the U.S. Because they're probably the most extreme right and left areas. And so when they don't get their way, they get a boo boo. They want to leave the country. Yeah, it's just like that. It's just it's basically except a little bit more intense. It's like much further along in that right but it's similar and america's not it would be like that yeah anyways okay. i'm gonna get a lot of shit for this so people are gonna call me you know the china defender and stuff you know what though fuck what it, doing. dude I, listen i think you're i get it because it's personal to you so i i understand what you're saying like i don't hate on you at all i think you i think some people are being over mean to people about it in china and i think you're be, i think you're being a little oversensitive but it makes sense because you have you have people you care about now that are there, so I get what you're saying. Like, and I, you know, fine, let people joke about it, but I think you're a good guy, and I think most of what you're saying is is right. Um, and, and so you're fine. I think you're fine. I think you're doing the right thing. And I think the more you see how people are like us there, the more you're like wanting to defend it. Because I'm the same way. I I know people from China too, so it's I get it. But I, I just think you're being a little over defensive, and I think other people are being over critical. So. But but not of the government. Yeah. I think the government needs to, we need to look at what's going on with their government right now. 
But uh, Travis, well, Mann, that I absolutely agree with. Yeah, in our government, I we, cr- we criticize our government, America and China. Yeah, the, the, just right now it's China's turn, you know, to be the government that's being the dicks. Um, that's all. Um, but yeah, man, stay safe, and uh, I do love you, and uh, you have a good uh, day, bro. All right, you too. Thanks, Joe. All right, man. Later. Interesting call. I like his perspective. I think what I said is what else we got? valid. Oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. A bit of the bubbly. So Cola sounds like you partake in cum drinking and dolphin dick eating. <laughs> <laughs> dolphin dick eating? Oh, my God, dude. Not that. Good God, not that, man. AJ Adams, thank you, man. Um, yeah, AJ Adams, thank you. I, I think. Listen, I think he. I think. Um, I think Travis made a lot of good points, dude. All right. I think there was a couple things I didn't agree with, but I think he made a couple good points too to check us. So. Um, what else we got? Oh, get it. A little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. That SJW caller is boring. Bring back the towel head guy. That is Travis TLC, the guy that made all the Tommy videos with the googly eyes. You know what I mean? The 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 um the cornhole experience. That's the cornhole experience, guys. You like that guy? Don't hate him now. You like him? You like Travis TLC, the cornhole experience guy? You like him? He he has family there, so it's different, man. He's got a you know he's got. Obviously, you'd be if you'd be defensive of your family too if if things are going on like this, you know what I'm saying? Super so I, I get his Super perspective. Jay. This caller is an idiot. China caused U.S. debt. Uh, Rob Johnson, thank you for the two dollars. Yeah, dude, I 100 percent agree, dude. We need to like we're pissed at China right now. We're pissed. People should be worried about a war. That's what I'm worried about. People should be worried about that. Anyway, guys, I'm up against the time. I gotta go do some stuff. I will be back tonight for the raw review and more. After the Raw review, good night. Thanks for listening, and I'm sorry that I didn't get your call. We'll do more of these. I might be live with some uh, streaming in a little bit, too. Uh, you won't get alerted, so make sure you follow all my other channels down below and everything else. Love you all. Thanks for the donation. Shout out to Chiz Hickneys, who donated $13. That was the largest donation of the stream. And I'll see you tonight live for the Raw review. Become a patron. Corrupted is up right now for you guys to listen to if you didn't listen to it on patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. See ya. Send the soy boys home. Cause we ain't gonna sugarcoat shit. Drop down, I'm give it to you. This, this is, this is the Joe Cronin Show. Now, now, here's Joe here's Cronin. Joe Cronin. Joe Cronin. Joe Cronin.